again. All right. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to this year's uh, Valentine's Day special. Uh, I am, as always, Rahal, and with me, as always, for these lovely excursions is Madakai. Yes, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yes. <laughs> so this year we're going to play Stay Stay Democratic People's Republic of Korea. My first and only trip to North Korea. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna we're just gonna yeah. dive in here. Yep. Love comes in many forms, and and though uh, we both have been fortunate, there are those who haven't. And th this is for you out there. You know, this is, yes. Maybe maybe there will be some advice to glean. From... <laughs> uh, that. Uh, the... I mean, I feel like we should make an, some sort of mix of our names, right? Yeah. Ma Mana Hall. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sure. <laughs> Mana Hall. Uh, <laughs> Ra uh, Ranakai. Ranakai. Ranakai is kind of good. Yeah. Uh, Ranakai. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that looks uh, like an actual name. Yeah, it's like a. That's like a. Someone could be named that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Radikai. But someone. Oh, and yeah, I wouldn't be named it. Taking a long time, but it's finally going to happen. Finally on a plane from Beijing to Pyongyang. Uh, finally. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, by the way, warning for everyone, there might be butts and boobs in this game, uh, which there is why will, we're not there streaming There will be it. a lot of heinous shit, I the, can it's, almost guarantee. If you're lightly offended, this is not the game for you, probably. Oh, no. uh, if you want to laugh... At the people of North Korea, the poor, haggard people of North Korea, uh, then this might be the game for you, however. All right. Not too bad. <laughs> yes. All right. Why don't duty... Now? Okay, so we're an army man. Yeah, well, well, it said that we had pen pals in the, in the Korean yeah. army. Yeah. And I guess we have a little U.S. Army star down there. Or a Korean star. Hmm, that's true. Uh... You should beat this man. Yeah. The airport wouldn't let me fly directly to Pyongyang. Yeah, I'm not sure why. <clears throat> it does say something that Korea is like, the only way into North Korea is through Russia or China. <laughs> I had to stumble through Chinese to get there. Yeah. But we're about to touch down at Pyongyang soon at international airport. Oh, how international? Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Would I, you read you know, that? Pilot. <laughs> <laughs> and then some, like, in... Uh, yeah, Korean, I, I guess. I, I, can't, I can't speak any Korean. I think he said we're about to descend. Mm. Is that in a, maybe I'll be the inner monologue and you can be the voice. Sure. You want that? So that we don't, yeah. so you don't have to. That sounds good. <laughs> Once we get off. Huh. Uh, I'm waiting for my bags. So... <laughs> that's not already. At the claim center. I was a bit late since I had to use the bathroom, so it looks like they've already started unloading. Mm. They've stopped the baggage claim carriage. My bags aren't there. I don't think this is how oh, Pyongyang no. Airport looks. I'm just going to no, say. This is definitely Pyongyang all, Airport. All these flights over here are like... I... one. Definitely. Airport lounge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does FUBAR mean? It means it's fucked up. Uh, oh, okay. Um... In, in I'm too old for this language. <laughs> oh man, this is fucked up. Don't tell me you lost my luggage. That would suck. I better go find the customer service before my buddies get here. Mm. Turning around, I walk straight into someone. Oh god, who could it be? <laughs> I like our uh, Korean sort of version of <laughs> our names up there. Uh, hey, are you right behind me? I've run right into what appears to be a member of the Korean military. Full suit and everything. What's oh. more, she's hot. And if you if you go for the chick in the uniform thing... And we do. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Ranakai, I presume. Her English is pretty good. A bit broken, but better than most kids uh, I met in Afghanistan. I'm... <laughs> Kids in Afghanistan doesn't have like. How do you know my name? I. Mm, <laughs> we were expecting your arrival. I finally noted that she's not alone. Another cute girl in military regalia is next to her. 
<laughs> but how? I only told my buddies Yong and. <laughs> you gotta pick mm, a pronunciation now. Yunji. <laughs> Yunji? That I was showing up. I'm so sorry <laughs> for everything. Oh, that would be us. Wait, I thought. It's not ASB. Aren't Young and Eun, well, guys' names? <laughs> not always. Like some names in your country, they can be applied to both genders. <gasps> the taller girl smiles politely. Oh, like Francis and Francis. I think I get it. Wait, wait a second. You don't think Radhika is a girl's name, did you? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. What a uh, okay, should I be the... I mean, this looks like that princess, really. This is what you call the Sundere. Yeah, she's definitely Sundere of this game. Uh, what, uh, okay, Yunji. Uh, so I guess... What is this? Yeah, you, you're not, you, you have to pick a pronunciation <laughs> now. Yeah, well, I mean, this is... I don't know Korean. Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't even fake it. No, I mean, you, we, you could go super racist, but that's not what I did, because uh, I, I had... I, I was conscious all of a sudden. Ufa Kashunata, who would name a guru Ranaki? But you, you said it was fine if I stayed with you while I was here? Question mark, exclamation mark. Oh, absolutely. We received special permission to have you stay in our personal barracks. Uh, well, uh, we might have to hold up. It looks like the airline lost my luggage. I need to check with the service desk about that. No need to worry. We have secured your luggage. That's great. Uh, where is it? <laughs> it has been sent to our political bureau security checkpoint. What? They must make sure you have no legal contraband on you. Anything that would be determined to our country and our glorious leader will be confiscated. Well, that doesn't seem to be any way to treat a friend. <laughs> if you desire a friendship, then do this, Zip. Uh, <laughs> you can speak. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. You can speak Korean, right? No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just the rest of the game's Korean. Oh yeah, God. Yeah. Well, I have been studying a little. I guess I have to handle it. <clears throat> I'm got the manual to help me out. Reach into my carry-on to pull out my translation guide. On seeing Eunji slaps it out of my hands. Ow! <laughs> what the hell did you do that for? You dare bring a trans <laughs> a translation manual for oh, of a, our martyr enemies into a wonderful country? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. yeah, that's really what it says. Man. It is. Yeah, no. Uh. <laughs> But it's a Korean translation manual. I'm sorry for you and just outbursts, but the manual depicts the language of the territory occupied by the Western imperialists. <laughs> Imperialist? I didn't think the British ever invaded Korea. It was just all one big Korea. Uh, I'm so glad you understand the situation. There is only one true Korea. Regardless, I'd like you to. <laughs> I'd like for you to work with Unji. She'll help you get better with Korean, and you'll help her with English. <clears throat> Doesn't appear very happy with that arrangement. She'll get used to it. <laughs> if she knows what's good for her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> her family's life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the mines currently. Uh, I read in my own translation manual that it's polite to bow to new co-workers. Turn to Angie and bow. Thanks for helping me with my Korean. Why you thank me? Oh, why do you thank me? <laughs> In how would you dish help me better English? Oh, man. It's not right I do dish for you, stupider. <laughs> wow, this is... Either way, I appreciate it. Why you... <laughs> I know help you too. I'm just gonna say, Neil, look look at the it's not me making the voice, it's actually what it says, Neil. Mm -hmm. he is, no, he's, he's, he's oh. <laughs> he will never forgive me. Now Eunjin, 
You were so excited about our friend coming to visit. There's no need to be so rude to him. Hmm. I hope he good English teach you. It's time we went back to our barracks. You should be thankful. The top advisor on tourism recommended you to stay <laughs> with your guides instead of at a hotel. You did bring a lot of foreign cash, though, as we suggested, yes. <laughs> uh, I did, though I'm not quite sure I understand why. Couldn't I just use my credit card? Would be quicker to go and exchange all these Korean bond bills. Plus, I feel funny having all these coins on me. Most everything you need has already been paid for in advance. However, the shops you'll visit will want hard currency. They prefer foreign bills to the one. Uh, okay, so I'll be paying for things with my own currency then. You know reason? What? <laughs> I don't know. It's simple. No one, Dora only. Oh, Dora. Oh, American Dora. Yeah. And she's pretty cute, but she's grumpy. Her cheeks get all puffed up. Oh. Sorry, that's your inner monologue. I do feel a bit bad for her, though. Ugh. Um, Eunji, would you prefer just speak Korean? Why? Wow, my English no good for you? Oh god. Mm, maybe it's a bit easier for now, though. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll give her, like, a really normal voice when she speaks Korean. Yeah, yeah, and then, like, go full, yeah. like, yeah. I guess I'll have to speak Korean from here on out. Oh, we should take a picture together before we leave the airport. I got, I got my phone I get out. my phone out. Take a picture of all of us. <clears throat> <laughs> what? What did you just do? Took a picture of you, that's all. No, get rid of it now. But you look so adorable, see? <laughs> Stop it, I'm, I'm not cute. Baka. No. Get rid of that photo now. I don't understand, it's just a picture. I'm sorry, but let me explain. She's a vampire, so... <laughs> in Korea, we do not allow photos of our military to be taken without permission. Unless it is at a natural event in which it cannot be helped. I must ask you to please delete the photograph. Can I keep it though? It's a really good shot. Inji looks adorable being the only one so pouty. Show the photo to Jiang, who giggles just a little. He has a point. It's a pretty cute photo. Before I can say anything else, Yunji stomps over and swipes my phone. I'll save you the trouble. I guess Jiang forgot we were supposed to confiscate this anyway. But that's my, my brand new phone. No worries. You'll get it back at the end of your stay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll put in a call to headquarters to get you a suitable replacement. Oh, yes. Please have a picture of a North Korean mobile phone. One that will work on our network. I'm pretty sure I saw four bars on my phone. It is best not to argue with her about this one. Oh, I guess it's not worth it. Yes, very true. Please follow us to the car we will take to your place. Our superiors should already have finished checking your luggage. We'll be able to relax. They lead me to a large boxy automobile. It looks like a 1980s Soviet car, but with some modifications to the interior. I'll say. We sit in the back, and I can't see anything outside. And I can't see into the front of the vehicle either. Check that. Uh, yeah, it must be picked up. Good. Kind of dark in here. I was hoping to see some of the city as we drove. <laughs> I'm afraid that, since we're taking you to our personal barracks, we can't let you see the route. It is forbidden by our illustrious leader that tourists do not know the way from the airport to the military locations. Then why did you let me stay at your personal barracks? I know. Stop questioning it. <laughs> they told us to take you to stay with us and we are doing so. Be grateful. Our place is better than any hotel. I am grateful. Thank you. I told you, stop thanking me. Oh, she's blushing. Yeah, she's like, eh. It's not like we did it for you or anything. <laughs> Just following orders. 
I swear, I think she blushed saying that. <gasps> so I think someone has a little crunch on you, Ranakai. I'm not sure yet what you just said. <laughs> Maybe I'm not saying it right. We speak Korean. Yeah. Stop that. Just listen to the radio. Oh, please, le please. <laughs> Have Korean radio. She flicks the dial very well. The first sound I hear is what I can only guess is a Korean guy singing an awful cover. <laughs> That's you. Uh, so, don't stop me now, because I'm having a good time. Don't stop me. It's the latest hit. I think it came out like 74 or something. <laughs> uh, latest? Yes, we heard it's very popular. Best song. 2016. The singer should do a tour here. Uh, I'm just gonna yeah, speak. I'm just gonna uh, get a little bit more of this. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. A little more uh, sound. I think that might be hard for Freddy. Freddy? The original singer of that song. The huge shit. Yeah, 1978. I fucking called it. Thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> Range trivia. <laughs> Wrong. We have it on good authority that this song was written by the glorious Lita <laughs> himself. Yes. Um. Mm. Gently oh, tell. First choice. Yeah. I think we should be nice. I guess. Or does she uh -huh. like it when you're insistent? She's like a military. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean. I mean. Okay. Question is, who? Like, what are we trying to accomplish here, right? Yeah. Do we want to try to live? <laughs> I... <laughs> yes, exactly. I, uh, gently. I feel like it's smartest to be gentle here. Yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah Not okay. argue with the border I'm... security. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you weren't given accurate information. If you guys haven't confiscated my MP3 player, I can play you the track and show you it's on there. I'm going to get my luggage back, that is. <laughs> Silence falls. Oh, good. We're almost there. The car slowing down to turning into what is... <laughs> turning into what I assume is their personal barracks. I can only guess, though, since I can't see outside the car. The silence we've had since the radio incident is broken by a sharp noise. It appears to be Gion is using a more Freddie Mercury for her ringtone. Hmm. Excuse me, I need to take this call turns from us and jabbers away on her phone. I figure maybe I should speak to Yunji. Yes, now's the time. So, if I'm staying here, I'm guessing you guys must have an extra room, right? Being a military base, I wouldn't think you'd have a lot of extra space. Yeah, they barely, just barely face... Hey, they were just barely facing out those wound-set huts when I was going through boot camp. Don't stick him in a broom closet or something, all right? <laughs> Don't be so ridiculous, Renakai. You won't get in the closet. <laughs> Are all soldiers in America so dumb? No wonder Glory's leader says we'll be conquering you soon. Uh, just imply your country is planning an attack on my country? I give her a shocked look. I've never heard of Koreans harboring hostile attitudes. Weren't we allies? Wow, he has no idea, has he? Uh -huh. <clears throat> At some point, all must be Korea. <laughs> yes. It is part of new initiative from our most high and honorable champion. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> Anyways, it is of no concern to you. Stop asking such silly things. We want you to enjoy your stay here. You'll see your sleeping quarters soon enough. Great, I can't wait. I'll leave, uh, leave it to you, Unji. I hear Ji Young getting off the phone. Just in time, it's getting pretty awkward in here. Yes. <clears throat> Good news, the inspection of the luggage is completed. They found very little to remove, so there should be very little missing. Well, that's good news. Will I get my belongings when I leave back for home? Um... <laughs> Young? Ah, oh, um, I know, you're probably uh, starving, right? Um, Yunji, uh, what were you planning to make for dinner? I'm making dinner? 
I thought we were just taking him to the mess hall. How can you be so thoughtless? He's our guest. We should make a proper meal for him. Uh, really, it's okay. I don't mind hitting up the Korean chow hall. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with whatever two of you want to do. You're poking the fun at me, aren't you? <laughs> Yunji appears angry. Well, even more angry than she had been before. You don't think I can do it. Oh, no. You think my English is terrible and I can't even cook? Uh-oh. Uh, that's not what I'm... I'll show you one home-cooked meal coming right up. Well, I appreciate it. I'll make you eat your words and some kimchi. Mmm, delicious. That's so sweet of you, Yunji. You must really like Ranakai. You haven't cooked anything in many months. Not since that time you burned the soba noodles. Oh, ho, ho, the times we had. You always bring that up. Stop embarrassing me. Wow. I'm glad you're cooking again. It's like Ranakai is already having a good influence on you. Before Yunji can respond, there's a knock on our door. Ji Young opens it to see uh, the driver standing there. Uh, we have arrived. Please show the capitalist to his quarters. Thank you. We'll be right there. Let's head in. <clears throat> wow. I had a small stretch after the long journey. This is amazing. Look at this place. Jiang grabs my hand and starts leading me to the room before me. She looks cute, even more so for a soldier. But she's definite. But she definitely has a strong grip. I mean, it's not like we don't have women on the base, but none <laughs> look like her. Oh, that's true. Jeez, I've got to stop thinking like that. This is just a vacation. Don't make it weird. Yeah, but this is not weird at all. Ten pals in the North Korean army. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Ranakai? <laughs> what? Yes, yes, fine. <laughs> but your face is so red. I thought you might be caught a fever. Oh, no, it's, um, um, uh-oh. Jiang puts her hand to my forehead. Her hand is so soft. Yeah, she's definitely not infantry. <laughs> I remember the women I saw in infantry. I still have nightmares. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jiang is so pretty, though. Uh oh. <laughs> you're so hot, and you're sweating a little. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, uh, I'm sure. I've just uh, tired. Li light flights. Um, yes, that's it. Tired from the flights. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was worried. The stores have been out of ibuprofen for a few days now. <laughs> I'm not sure what could have treated the fever. <laughs> hey, when you two are done, could you help me with the tab? It's stuck again, Dion. Uh, let me take care of that for you. This faucet has definitely seen better days. It looks like some of it has started to rust away pretty badly. Yeah. Hopefully the water is clean and safe to drink. Mm. Budget cuts always hit the guys at the bottom first, I guess. It takes some effort, but after a few tries, the water manages to come out. Hmm. I could have done it quicker myself. They show me around their private quarters. It's not too bad. A couple bedrooms, a common room, kitchen, and bath. I need to finish preparing dinner for tonight. Jiang will show you to your room. Again, Jiang grabs me by the hand and leads me to my room. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> this bedroom has a scant decoration. I mean, if I could get that... that... That poster, that would be pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And the windows are small, but do let some light. Be on the bed is my suitcase, unharmed by the search and seizure ordeal. This will be a room for the week. I'll be staying in the other room uh, with Yunji. I hope you find this room to your liking. Wait, are you telling me this is normally your room? Yes, but you needed a place to sleep. I don't mind staying in Yunji's room for the week. You can think of it as uh, what you Americans teenage girls say. A sleepover. I can see Yunji's bedroom across the hall. There's just one bed and it's not big enough for both of them. I can't put you out of your room. You'll have to sleep on the floor. Do you have a sleeping bag or some extra blankets? 
I can go sleep on the floor in the common room. That is not needed. You're our guest. It would be dishonorable to have you sleep on the floor. Make yourself at home. Have dinner ready soon. She smiles and walks out of the door, leaving me in her room. I open my suitcase. <clears throat> Everything had been controlled. It had been tossed around and crumbled up. <laughs> of course, I can't actually blame the Koreans for that. Can't you? After all, I went through a couple of different airports. I guess. Including one with the TSA security back in the States. Hell, the TSA broke my computer last time I tried to fly. It looked like they took a hammer to my motherboard, but damn. TSA. Yeah, I'm relieved to see my comfy to Tokyo Hotel t-shirt is still there, though. I slip up my traveling clothes and toss that on with a pair of jeans. How capitalist. Not too long after, I smell something fairly decent coming from the kitchen. <clears throat> I decide to head there to see if I can help. Both girls are here. Jiang has changed into something more, into a more oh. comfortable attire. Let's see Young's comfortable attire. <clears throat> but Junji is still dressed in her military uniform. Of course. Jiang must have heard me walk in as she turns to greet me. Oh, damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hi, Renekai. Dinner isn't quite ready yet. I mean, that's okay. I thought you might need, you know, help, something. Oh, dear. I don't need help from Western capitalists who don't know the true Korean food. As she says this, she turns to face me, and a shocked look crosses her face. What? What do you think you're doing? You can't wear that in Korea. You'd be shot on sight. Shot for wearing blue jeans? No, for advertising an attraction of an enemy state. Young doesn't seem too pleased either. What, you mean the t-shirt? Fool, of course you mean the t-shirt. What were you thinking advertising a hotel from Japan <laughs> in Korea? It's a band. No, but it's, it's... Are you on one of those, those, those idiots who think that all our countries are the same? Uh-oh. Japan falsely accuses our country of misconduct and hinders our foreign relations. Could I please get a word in, please? Uh, it might be best if you change uh, and give us that t-shirt. We can burn it so no one knows you had it. I don't want you uh, to be in trouble with a glorious leader in less than a day. It would also reflect poorly on us, so please change. If you would allow me to explain. Can't believe our inspectors were so careless. <laughs> it's, it has nothing to do with Japan. Uh, they look so confused right now. It's not Japanese. It's a t-shirt for a German rock band. Recall Tokyo Hotel. A couple of moments of silence follow before Yunji speaks. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Why are you still wearing that abomination? I, I just told you from a German rock band. Uh, that's not really any better. Germany is not a friend of ours either. It really would be best to take it off and give it to us. All right, I'll go change. No, remove it. Now, and hand it to Jiang. <gasps> you need to to delete this so no one knows. Can I just put it back in my suitcase? Of course not. What if one of our superiors came and saw it? All three of us would get in trouble. I'll take it off. Just give me a minute. No, take oh. it off here. Wow. I, I need <laughs> to be sure you don't try to hide it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't you, is Yunji uh, blushing? Jeez, turn around first at least. I remove the shirt and hand it to Jiang. I go back and put on a plain white t-shirt instead. When I get back, my t-shirt is nowhere in sight. And the girls are talking with each other. Thank you so much for changing. It would have been really awkward if Yunji had uh, to remove the shirt by force. But it's best not to do anything that could incur the anger of the glorious leader. I suppose. But it still sucks you burn my shirt. That was a gift from my buddy in Germany. Another military buddy, yes? Is she nice? <laughs> well, he seems to be nice. Wait, did you say she? Come to think of it, I never really did check my German buddy was a guy or a girl either. 
Hmm. Next, next game in the series. <laughs> yes. Is Lear Rose and gender specific gift? Uh... <laughs> you, gave her, you gave the person Lear Rose? Yeah. God. As I'm pondering if I've gender bent every overseas pen pal I've ever had, the lights flicker and go off. Oh. Well, there goes the light again. What is it with the lights going out like this at the same time every day? Wait, this happens every day? Is this some sort of plan thing? Uh, we do not know, but the power does go off a lot. Usually it's for short periods of time. However, there's, uh, there's one that seems to happen every day at this time. It lasts a while, an hour or more, usually. You mean to tell me you have daily power outages? And you can't even set your clocks to them? What in the world could be going on to lose power every day at the same time? Glorious leader said it is to preserve power. <clears throat> in case the imperialist forces sent him to invade country further inland towards us. So we will have enough power for our bases to withstand the attack. I'm not certain that makes any sense. Are you questioning the judgment of the Supreme Commander of Korea? Mm, <laughs> no, I'm the, like, <laughs> the, the, the deflecting this, I think. <clears throat> yeah, well, maybe it's okay to get go without power for a while every day. <laughs> you sh could do something to help pass the time that doesn't involve electricity. Wow, you almost sounded like Glorious Leader there. <laughs> he mentioned that purging the need for outside energy sources builds character. <clears throat> and allows for a deeper spiritual connection with self and others. He recommends yoga for those times. Taking into account what I know of Korea's leader, the last thing I think I could see him doing is physical activity. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Have you seen those pictures of him riding a horse? It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I have not. You no, know, he, he apparently... Maybe he'll show up. Uh, you know, maybe he took like his yearly ride on his like noble steed. And he rides through like a holy wood and something to reflect on the future of the state of Korea. <laughs> and then he comes back with amazing ideas, supposedly. Mm -hmm. There's pictures. It's amazing. In fact, I think I just put a mental image in my head that will never be erased. <laughs> Thank you. Leader of Korea plus yoga outfit equals vomit inducer. Uh... That glorious leader, you Yankee. And it appears Yunji has developed the power of reading my thoughts. Uh, and does your glorious leader do yoga himself? Of course. He has been known to lead the entire army in morning yoga. He has even invented his own style of yoga based on rare creatures. Oh, great. I think he called it uh, Mi Pika Oath Chu Yoga or Wild Cat and Mouth combined in English. Have you done his yoga classes? Why, yes. He provided us all with special yoga clothing. Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> he would inspect our <laughs> our form from the back of the room while instructing. Well, I can't fault him. Yoga pants are a gift to mankind. Wow. Except when Gunny bought a pair. God, there's another image burned into my brain. So, what do we do while we wait for electricity to come back? I mean, I guess we could all go take a nap. <laughs> you have group napping in the United States? Uh, no, not really. Not at least after kindergarten. But I guess meant we, you know, as a way to pass the time. No, group activity. We are missing some of the ingredients for the kimchi. We could walk to the local <clears throat> mart and see if there's any there to pick up. Yes, we could. Unless you'd prefer under-seasoned kimchi. No, no, never. I know, do know most Americans are not accustomed to eating spicier foods. Wow. Uh, they could clearly not teach uh, you to go to Texas or Cajun cuisine, do they? Of course not. American cuisine is an abomination. <laughs> Flavorless, colorless, lifeless, all processed at speedy slob joints. <laughs> like King Donald. Yes. It is amongst the most inferior cooking in the world. Not wrong. I really don't feel like correcting my your myopic view of American food. I'll just get the ingredients you need. <clears throat> yes, yes, let's all get along. Yeah, we're all friends here. <laughs> and it's a bit of a walk to the market so to get what we need. Uh, we're walking? I figured we'd ride 
in the see no Korea, hear no Korea, speak no Korea mobile again. Why the attitude? You're in the military. You know we can't freely allow foreigners to see direct routes between points. But walking from our barracks to the market allows you no useful information. It does have... What do Westerners call it? Spunk. Yes, I think that's it. Oh, gosh. But come along. Let's go and get what Yunji needs. She grabs my hand and I climb up again. I can't say I'm unhappy, but I'm not great with the girls. Hmm. But it doesn't seem Jiang has a problem with grasping my hand. Maybe she's unaware of what holding hands means. But I'm not surprised, since this is the third time she's doing it. What's surprising is that I feel my other hand being grabbed. Oh no. I turn to the side and see that Yunji has claimed that <laughs> hand for herself. She notices I've seen her, and she blushes. <laughs> don't, don't get, don't get me wrong or anything. I'm not doing this because I want to. I just want to make sure you don't go running off. We could get in big trouble if you were found walking around without a guide. So I'm just, just leading you. Mm -hmm. Don't make anything out of it, okay? It would appear Yunji, on the other hand, is fully aware that, of what hand-holding means. Thank you for looking out for me. I roll my eyes when she's not looking. Stop saying weird <laughs> things like that. I told you, I'm just uh, making sure you don't get lost. They both head out the door with me in tow. About 20 minutes later, we're outside of a small market. What I've noticed is that we aren't really in the city. More like the outskirts. We aren't actually in Pyongyang, are we? No, our barracks are on the outside of the city proper. We'll be going to visit the city instead of staying in the city. I thought all visitors were supposed to be in the city. I already told you, the glorious leader made an exception for you. Now let's hurry up and go in. Again, this is not what a North Korean uh, taste food, North Korea. food store would look like, I believe. <laughs> uh, As we walk in, the shopkeeper quickly turns away. We start looking around what Yunji, Yunji needs to finish the kimchi. She had mentioned the green onions to me and I made a beeline for the produce. Look at how well stocked the store is. We should have no problem getting what you need, Yunji. Korean stores are always so full of delicious and lovingly grown produce. Something seems a little off there. Yeah. Jung had been more casual with how she talks. That last line seemed a bit forced. And I think I know why if, as I find the produce. A cursory glance would only give you the impression of having a well-stocked stand of vegetables. Upon close inspection, though... Plastic? <laughs> what are you muttering over there? Half of this food isn't real. I mean, this radish right here, it's too shiny. I really don't think the FDA has a recommended daily allowance for plastic. They don't seem to be listening to me much, and they continue looking for ingredients. Looking at the wall where the canned goods are, it gives a similar impression. Yeah. <laughs> a close inspection is all it takes to see what it is. The shelves over there don't even look like there's real food on them. I've seen better artwork in a no-budget visual novel, <laughs> but the developer skimped on paying artists. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Jihyo walks over to me with a worried look. <laughs> We're almost done. Please... Please don't say anything else. This is something that you do not understand, and speaking on it, it's no good. No good? Fine, I'll be a good little soldier. It's nut up or shut up for now, I guess. Young smiles at that, though it's tough to tell if it's a smile of relief or nervousness. Yunji walks over to us. Hey! I left my wallet back at the house. Oh. 
Did you bring yours, Ji Young? No, I thought you had yours. One of us will have to go back and get the money. But it's okay, I brought my wallet. But never did exchange any of the cash for one. Will he be okay with American dollars? Yes. Though I think the chef keeper prefers euros. He'll still take American money. Give me your wallet and I'll go pay. I hand her my, my wallet and she walks back to the shopkeeper. She comes back and I check the billfold area. Doesn't appear to be too ravaged. A buck fifty can barely buy a soda on base. Fresh produce is basically unheard of. Hell, even that plastic food looks better than any of the stuff I've had on base. <laughs> well, with this settled, let's go back to the barracks. All right, we bought some plastic food. Mm -hmm. 20 minutes later, we're back at the barracks. The power is back on, and Yunji gets right to work finishing the kimchi. Jiang has turned on the radio. Thank you for turning into the One Korea One Voice. Here is today's top story. Our glorious reader took a well deserved day off today by playing a round of golf at Pyongyang Old Course Number One. As expected, the son of a beloved former leader, he shares his father's natural talent for golf. Our glorious leader broke his father's record with a 40 under par 32 for the round. Okay. And includes in his round was a streak of nine holes in one, a feat only he has ever done in the world. Guess the glorious leader missed his true calling of dominating the world tour of professional golfers. <laughs> Dinner is ready. Young <laughs> turns off the radio as we both walk over to the dining table. Dinner looks good. Yunji has made traditional kimchi along with kong pap. Kong, kong bap. Kong bap? I don't know. <clears throat> Southerners would call it beans and rice. Wow, this looks delicious, Yunji. Oh boy. <laughs> she flushes a little at my praise. It's really kind of cute. Wow. Well then, itadakimas. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> you know, itadakimas, the, the thing you say before every meal. Something about, I take this food, thanks for making it, right? Idiot. You're mixing your Asian countries. That's Japanese. In Korea, it would be Jalbo uh, Getsumnida. Oh, God. And honestly, we don't do that very often. Often? Try it all. It gets annoying here that before every meal. At least try it once. I'd rather you not pick up that habit. Just say thanks and eat. <laughs> well, thanks, Yunji. The rest of the meal is eaten in silence. But the food is pretty good. Yunji could definitely cook. Afterwards, I help her clean the table and wash the dishes. The girls protested a little, but seemed grateful in the end. It's getting late, though. <clears throat> I think it's time to turn in for the night. Tomorrow, we'll present you with some places to go to. And one... Of us will escort you there. <laughs> Just one of you, one of both. Three is a crowd. Plus, one of us has to clean up around here some, and maybe go to the store to pick up a sleeping mat. Sorry again about the bedroom. I tried to get some rest, but I'm pretty excited for tomorrow. Yes, I am as well, but we do need to rest. Good night, Young. Good night, Inji. We dreams. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. <laughs> they both leave the room, but Junji pops her head back in quickly. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, it's Thursday. We have a tiller chills tonight. Don't let it scare you. <laughs> All right. She sniggers. Oh, yeah, I'll be... What? Say we to dreamer. <laughs> Great pronunciation. English is really terrible. Just that accent, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Or tilt practice. <laughs> I'll remember setting an alarm. Yeah. And it's not like I needed to remind her that I'm in Korea. After rubbing my eyes for a few minutes, I look around. The sun isn't even visible yet, just pre dawn glow creeping over the horizon. 
It looks like the alarm is bearing from a cell phone sitting on my nightstand. It looks like something out of the 80s. I flip it open. It's set to 5.30. Yeah. Five, five, five goddamn 30. <laughs> Who sets an alarm this early? Oh, good, you're awake. And I'll see you found your new phone. For someone as curvy as Ji Young, she sure can be sneaky when moving. Um, yes, I sure did. I think everyone on the base could hear that thing go off, actually. It's the latest model of innovative technology. Every citizen of Korea aren't able to get such a phone yet. Consider it a welcoming gift from our government to you. She gives a bright smile to me as she says this. Thanks. Yunji is making breakfast, so please clean up before we come out. As she exits the room, I finally take a good long look at my new phone. It's a Motorola Distech Duntech model. Mm -hmm. In the this phone would have been new about thirty years ago. In terms of cellular technology, this thing's ancient. I mean, fossilized dinosaur shit, ancient. This sucks. I just bought my phone only a month ago. I wonder where it is. Yeah, well. Some North Korean official is probably swiping through all my stuff as we speak. <laughs> Elsewhere. Uh... <laughs> I am Office. telling you, <laughs> this is the newest model. Sleek black casing and 64 gig memory model. Nice. I don't care how many gigs of RAM it has. The thing goes through a full battery charge in like two hours. And you drop a thing half a meter onto a pillow and the screen shatters. At least it can stream movies. Ah, uh, like I want to see another round of 104 memorials to see in Pyongyang. Fair enough, into the trash it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, probably something like that. I would like to see the 101 war memorials of Pyongyang. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least this one can take pictures. Well, that's... Low quality, low resolution pictures that can't be enlarged into decent prints. I wonder what contacts are on here. If I see if I can add my own. There only appears to be two contacts, Jiang and Yunjing. Maybe I can add my cousin to the list for quick test texting. Mm. How do you go about password protecting protecting the contacts? I can't even add anyone to this phone. Frustrated, I head towards the bathroom. Well, at least... Oh god, it's a little pixelated from here. Yeah. Uh, well, at least this is something they are up to date with in North Korea. Oh, it's an up to date bathroom. It's pretty ordinary. An ordinary sink, an ordinary shower. And a really, really ordinary toilet. I mean, there's nothing special about this toilet at all. Uh, why are you emphasizing... <laughs> White porcelain flush handle looks like an older <laughs> 3.5 gallons per flush model. Oh, okay. It's complete. It's completely inauspicious. You know, when you when you emphasize that a lot, <laughs> as a DM, you'd be like, oh, it's, it looks... There's no spiders. There's no, 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 nothing. Completely just, clean. Yeah, yep. absolutely normal. <laughs> no fancy buttons to push or anything that might attack me, like a dream drencher water gun. I seriously... I can't explain how plain and ordinary this toilet is. I... Jeez, this place must be getting to me. I'm pondering the existential properties of the goddamn latrines here. I guess I'll take a quick shower. A few minutes later. After showering, I hear a voice from the kitchen. Are you going to come out for breakfast anytime soon? Or are you going to waste this month's entire water ration? <laughs> uh, I don't think I took any longer in the restroom than normal. You took two minutes staring at the toilet alone. Do you have cameras in the bathroom? Come on. Of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Now get over here so we can all have breakfast. I'll be right there. After yesterday's debacle with my Tokyo Hotel t-shirt, I decided to stick to plain clothing. A pair of tan cargo pants and a blue t-shirt should be fine, right? Hmm. Donning my clothing, I head over to the table for breakfast. Good morning. I hope you rested well. As well can be expected for the first nap in a new place. I'm used to it, though, so it's all good. 
So glad to hear it. Your seat uh, is at the end. If you'd be so kind, we can serve you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. The two girls will be sitting on either side of you. Yunji brings out a plate of cold noodles, mm. rice gruel, and what appears to be some beef in a sauce. Uh, this is not what I want for breakfast. Oh, dear. Once everyone is seated, we begin eating. Never have cold noodles for breakfast before. It's okay. It doesn't compare to cold pizza, but still, it's not bad. Well, I'm glad you were able to compare my handmade meal to leftover American takeout. <laughs> Don't be like that. I'll take handmade meals over takeout any day. Yes, Yunji. I don't think he meant anything by it. <laughs> Whatever. We finish eating. I help clean up the dishes despite their protests. I feel bad letting you clean up after breakfast alone. You're a guest. You should be relaxing. It's really okay. I'm used to KP duty. I remember this one time. Oh man, God, he was so pissed. He had me cutting potatoes all night. After like an hour, uh, like hour four, I was so in the zone. I swear to God, I almost peeled like a grenade that fell into the box. <laughs> Besides, the quicker you both get done, the quicker we get out of here. Are all Westerners so forgetful? We told you yesterday that only one of us can go with you each day. Oh no. One of us has to stay behind in case the glorious leader calls <laughs> and needs us. Right, right. Sorry, I had forgotten. We have a list of potential places you're allowed to visit here. Oh, dear. Uh, each day, you can pick an area and one of us to accompany you there. Uh, how will you know who gets to go? I don't have to pick between the two of you, do I? Because seriously, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings here. You don't have to worry about a thing. Each have our own areas that we know more about than the other. So whichever you select, the one most suited for it will take you there. I guess that makes sense. Great. Can we quit with the tutorial now and pick date place, please? Uh, I'm say date place. Is that not correct? Uh, yeah. Let me look at the map. Definitely. Here we go. Jiang hands me a piece of paper. It's pretty rough shape. Didn't realize we'll. I'd have to fill out a ditto sheet while on vacation. What are you blabbering about now? <laughs> Evil this way, best Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read what it says up in China there. Uh, <laughs> China not evil. Mm. Uh, I'm commenting on this pitiful excuse for a map you've given me. It looks like something in elementary school with no funding for decent pho photocopier would print. I'll have you know the map was printed by the prestigious brigade of the Korean cartographers. Using the finest machines in printing technology. Say so. Shut up and pick the date location already. <laughs> oh gosh. <gasps> oh my, look at this. Oh wow. Uh... Not Pyongyang. Uh, <laughs> not Pyongyang. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> you shall not pass evil. Any spirits here. <laughs> <laughs> we will liberate you. Occupy Korea. To buy cabbage, salt, bullets, and rice. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So where do we want to go here? We where... can see there's like one that's crossed out down there. I feel like that's uh, Nampo. We can't go there. No, we can't go to Nampo. If we in Pyongyang. Oh, we can't go to Mount Pyeongchang. I think that's the holy like uh, Kim Jong Un yeah. mountain. Yeah. Uh, also... So, oh, so we have. What? Which ones can we actually go to? We can the go to. We can go to one San with Unji. Runga PPG with Young. Yangako so, with Unji. We have a like I feel like the first playthrough we just sort of do whatever, right? And then right, right. we min max the, the so, I mean, CD potentials. Yeah. Man, I mean I sorta Do you have a preference? I think I, I like Unji more because she's like stern. She's uh, she's uh Yeah. More of a challenge, you know? All right, all right. You're, uh, uh, yeah, okay. We have been trying to placate so far. <laughs> I guess maybe that works. Uh, but do we want to... I don't know what any of these things are. No. So Gangacto, really Wonsan, no Pueblo. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know if Pueblo is like a, let's go, a North American tribe, right? Let's go to Pueblo. <laughs> sure, let's go to let's Pueblo. Go to... Um... 
hidden amongst all of the Korean named places stands a very, very odd name for a place in East Asia. I've got to see what's behind this. I'm curious to how a place called Pueblo ended up on a map in Korea. Care to explain? I can do better than that. I can show you. Get dressed and we'll go there. I've never actually said I wanted to go there. Too late, no back takes. We're going there and that's final. No back take backs. I can't take anything back. To blah, blah, blah. Uh, you may well as give up. Going to Pueblo is one of just favorite tour destinations. Oh, great. If you don't go willingly, she'll just drag you there anyway. Can you give me just what's out there at least? It, it may be better to just let you see for yourself. I don't want to spoil Yunji's fun. Yunji has fun outside of picking on me and tormenting her comrades. Of course she does. She also torments me. That's not tormenting, Dion. That's sisterly affection. Wow. Stealing my clothes and towels from the base shower room and forcing me to chase you is not showing affection. I've only done that once. No, you've done it 11 times and it wasn't funny or cute even once. I beg to differ on the cute part. <laughs> See? Even the American over here thinks it would be funny. No, he said cute. Which means his mind is thinking something rather dirty. <laughs> Guilty as charged, comrade commissar. <laughs> Very funny. If you if you sassed your commander in Korea's people's army, you'd be shot. She's always so sarcastic. What? Even my humor isn't bad enough to get me shot. Even my humor I should you try it while you're out today and see where it gets you. These pronunciations are all over the place. <laughs> These intonations with these sentences. You know. Anyway, go get dressed while I call the driver. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Well, time to take a quick shower and get dressed so that I can see what this big surprise is all about. Yes. If Yunji's excited about them, about it then, I'm both curious and scared at the same time. I'm, I have ideas, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> Showered and clothed? Check. Wallet? Check. Cell phone, damn it. <laughs> I'm as ready as I'll ever be then. Do all Americans take so long to get ready? What are you talking about? I've gone all 10 minutes tops, including shower. And you'd be whipping whipped five times for being five minutes over the limit. <laughs> you tell me I'm ready in five minutes? That's surprising considering the state of your room. I'd imagine it'd take at least that long to even find your clothes. Shoes. <laughs> Why is that? Don't Westerners get ready in five minutes? Hell no, they don't. I mean, shit. My sister takes 30 minutes just to put on her makeup, let alone pick out what to wear. Of course, then again, you have an advantage is that you already know to wear your uniform. He does have a point. One, uh, on days off, it does take me a couple of extra minutes to pick up between the three acceptable off-duty blouses I own. <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty annoying that way. <laughs> we have three officially sanctioned <laughs> blouses. But still, five minutes? That doesn't sit. Stop wasting time. The driver's waiting. And with that, Junji grabs my hand, full force, and drags me out of the front door. What is it with these girls dragging me by the hand? Though I guess it beats her barking orders at me. Stop dragging your toes. One, two, one, two. It's like she can read my mind. Scary, I tell you. Once outside, I can see my car. I can see the car waiting. The driver's watching our approach, and I'm pretty sure she's he's snickering at Yunji dragging me around like an overstuffed rucksack. I can walk on my own, you know. Perhaps, but you don't seem capable of doing it in a timely manner. <laughs> Seriously, it's just not worth arguing with Yunji. I gave her the raised eyebrow salute before hopping into the familiar back seat of the car. To Pueblo, driver. The driver grunts in response as he starts the engine up. You know, it wouldn't kill you to say please to the poor guy. He does have to drive us to our destination, then sit around in the car until we get back. Not necessarily. The glorious leader might call for him in between. Anyway, he's a subordinate and it's not necessary to show courtesy to a subordinate. <laughs> they might start expecting it or something uh, if you start doing that. Do you realize that you're not showing courtesy to the man who could literally drive us off a cliff or something, right? For Peach's sake, 
If it'll make you happy, I'll thank him. Thank, thanks for driving us, comrade. And for my effort, his response is the same damn grunt he gave before. He said thanks. Can we talk about something else now? Sure. How about telling me what Pueblo is? Because I'm pretty sure it's not anything like the city in Colorado. <clears throat> Pueblo is part of a museum in Pyongyang. A museum of the greatest importance to our national pride and history. Oh, great. Sounds interesting, but why in the world would all Pueblo? That's a Spanish name and the name of an Indian tribe in the US. Call me crazy, but I don't think your relative, uh, relatively sparse international ties include Spain and or the Indians. Native Americans, goddammit. You aren't crazy. We didn't name it ourselves. Well, if you didn't name it, then who did? I don't know the name of the individual who named it, but I'm relatively certain he was a member of your government. I don't get it. Why would a member of our government name some point of a part of a museum in Korea? He didn't, didn't name it for us. We got it named the way it was. If you can't piece it together from that, you'll understand about it then ten, then about in ten minutes, as we're not far from our destination. I gotta piece this together. Named by someone in the American government. And it came to Korea named that way? That indicates we named it for ourselves and not for Korea's oh, sake. Oh, is it... Is it I've stolen yeah. something. Yeah. Pueblo, Pueblo. Oh, fuck me. I think I know what this might be, and I don't like it. <laughs> this machine we're going to wouldn't happen to be related to military operations, would it? <clears throat> Why, yes, you seem to be making progress. We're going to the Pyongyang Victorious War Museum. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's really only one branch of the United States military that places such pomp and circumstance on naving individual vessels. You're taking me to see a navy ship, the USS Pueblo, to be precise. Maybe you aren't as dumb as I thought. You're precisely correct. The USS Pueblo serves as a symbol of one of our country's greatest victories over capitalist oppression. Well, maybe I can let some of my seamen buddies know how it's faring in captivity? Stop whining. The only reason we haven't scrapped it is because he's it's still commissioned. <laughs> Wait. So the Navy still hasn't decommissioned the ship. I mean, if this was some recent incident, I'd heard about it. The ship must be pretty old. Why bother keeping a commission on it? I don't know why. At one point there was a discussion of returning the ship to your country, but those talks fell through. <laughs> Good luck trying to give it back when it's been turned into a museum. Who says I want our country to give it back? Certainly, I'm not looking forward to this excursion. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, I guess I'll get to see your country side of the events. The true side, yes. The rest of the short car ride is completed in silence. Though I'd say, though I'd say it was only comfortable silence for Yunji. I mean, yeah, the Marine Corps corps has a little bit of inter-service rivalry with the Navy, but in the end, they're still brothers in arms, our family. The pervy uncle no one talks about but who still gets invited to thanksgiving member of the family to be sure but still family so i'm just a bit pissed that one of our ships has been flo is being floated in some dumpy north korean harbor as a tourist trap possibly a literal trap um anyway as i'm trying to figure out my country's my match marching orders for this date my thoughts are scattered and suddenly i'm yanked from the car Enough daydreaming about my sister. We're here. Wow. Are you sure I wasn't daydreaming about you? <gasps> that made her blush. Good. What? Why did you go and say something stupid like that? That's that's all my dating uh, approaches Baka. that make make him blush. <laughs> and make him blush. Good. Of course you're dreaming of Ji Young. All guys do that. They. Oh no. It's they never music. even look at me. <laughs> then the sad music came on. Oh, you wouldn't happen to be jealous of Young, would you? Uh, of course not. I don't even care about. As fun as this is, I do feel a little bad for Yunji. Also, if there is music, I'm not hearing it. Oh, it's not true. Yeah, okay. I should try and cheer up, uh, up some. It's obvious she has trouble connecting with people. I can up the uh, volume a bit.
Do you hear that? Mm. Really loud now. <laughs> just just you, man. Just hearing you. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Well, trust me when I say it's sad music. I, I, you know, I will. Uh, I should try and cheer her up. It's obvious she has trouble connecting with people. <sighs> Relax, Yunji. I was daydreaming about Yong or even you. Believe it or not, guys do think about the things than girls from time to time. Is that true? Of course. Sometimes I think about food, too. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're too cute uh, to truly hate anyone. So, are we going into the museum or directly to the ship? I promised you, uh, promised you the Pueblo, so we'll go there first. That was beautiful. Grab my hand and starts <laughs> leading me towards the harbor, the off of the Batong River. What the fuck is this oh. shit? Look at this, like dump, dumpy ship. I'm sure this. I'm sh sure enough. There's an old navy ship moored there. Uh, however, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like much of a combat vessel. No, it really doesn't. It has a gun on the back, I think. Yes. Even green like myself can tell this ship lacks any modern equipment. And seems to only be armed with two Mad Decos, uh, uh, Browning 50 caliber machine guns in polite company. Impressed. Oh. Imp impressive feat capturing a Navy ship. I suppose capturing a combat ship from the second best Navy in the world is sort of an accomplishment. Hey, terrain on your poop deck, but that's not a combat ship. And just how would you know, Mr. Army Ranger boy? First, I'm not a ranger, and I'm not even in the army. Secondly, look at some of the, uh, some of the decks. They're too low. Get into close combat with a ship, it could be boarded. That, that ship could be boarded easily. And the weaponry appears to be defensive at best. Well then, if not for combat, then what was the ship, ship used for? I can't say for certain, but giving a guess, I'd say it started out as a supply or cargo ship. The low decks would serve well for tossing stuff on and off. That's ridiculous. Why would a supply ship be stationed anywhere near Korean waters? I, I don't know. When was it captured? <laughs> January 1968. <laughs> that makes sense. That would make sense. Yeah. That's close to the Vietnam War era. A ship like that would be adequate for reconnaissance missions. So it was meant to spy as a spy ship after all? Damn, I hope that was just a rumor. I'm afraid not. Uh, it was caught, uh, caught in the Pacific around Japan or Korea in 1968. It was likely attempting to gain info from radio frequencies. It wasn't Japan. The American ship clearly violated Korean waters. You'll see when we get to the gallery. Oh yeah, please. Let's go to the gallery. Before long, we're taking aboard the Pueblo. While entering, I have to admit that they've kept the boat in pretty decent shape. They didn't repair any of the damage from the gunfire, but the outside is clean and the decks appear okay. I guess it could be worse. Uh, seems you kept them in decent shape. Of course we did. It wouldn't be much of a museum if it was in bad condition. As she drones on a bit about how the utmost care was taken by the Korean Navy to keep the ship in tip-top shape. I head over to the starboard side, which faces the water. Looking over gives a stark contrast to the clean facade that one gets when entering the ship. The starboard side is rusting over and shows no signs of repair in ages. Not even a coat of paint to try and hide the contempt the Koreans feel for the vessel. Oh, wow. Bastards. Hey, Yunji, your navy does know there are two sides to a ship, right? Of course they do. Even I know that. Port and starboard. What about it? Your port side looks fine, but it doesn't look like you've touched the starboard side since you acquired the ship. No one ever looks over there anyway. <laughs> Leave it to you to be the one person to walk over and check the side no one cares about. <laughs> Come on now, you said it was a symbol of your country's greatest victories. Shouldn't you put a little effort into preserving it? It's so damn important. Jesus, we're... This guy wants to die. Yeah. Nope. Can't be bothered. Front looks good, inside is fine. Who cares about backside? <laughs> Just offended ass. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is, um... Mm -hmm. Well... Whatever. Are you coming to check the inside <laughs> or what? 
There's art and photos, as well as some materials the crew had left behind. Some, since most of the captured material has been declassified now, the workers' party has placed the original documents back in the code room. Great. It would be kind of cool to see what the crew were trying to learn. Junji wastes no time in grabbing my hand and dragging me into the inner portions of the ship. On the walls are mostly paintings and a couple of pictures, each depicting part of Korea's narrative of the events of 1968. Even just a cursory glance shows that their version of the story is dubious at best. Actually, that's probably doing the word dubious a disservice, since dubious implies a very small chance that there's truth behind. There's truth being told. Most of what I see is a load of bullshit. Hey, Unji, do you really think the American ship situated itself right there, just offshore of the main line, like this painting depicts? Of course. You brazen Americans <laughs> think that you can steal right in front of the people. While our Navy showed you how we feel about spies in true Korea. Yeah, I'm sorry. We might be brazen, but we're not idiots. Uh, and why is the captain of the crew wearing just his silkies and a wife beater while holding a half-empty <laughs> bottle of grand-style whiskey? Uh, maybe that part isn't too off the mark if Gunny is an, an example. But seriously, this painting over here depicts the crew playing shuffleboard. And if the ship was actually invading your coastline, wouldn't they have been burned all the documents if they thought there was a chance of being captured? How should I know? If this is your country's idea of the world's second best navy, you aren't holding much of a standard for the rest of the world. Russia's navy a bunch of vodka drinking bears in rowboats? She doesn't say anything as we walk over there to the very few, but to where the very few photos are. In one is what looks like a bunch of Korean guys having fun playing poker. In another appears to be the command crew of the Preplo in a group shot. Hey, Yunji. This photo here appears to be a bunch of Koreans playing card games. What does that have to do with anything? The ones in the middle are the Americans that were on the ship when we captured it. This photo shows them having a good time while our countrymen and with our countrymen and how they were well they were treated in captivity as negotiations ensued. Oh. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I don't see any Americans in this picture at all. I mean, yeah. We're a pretty big melting pot of different ethnicities, but there's no way we had that many Asian crew members back then. Hell, I don't even see any black guys in the photo. I mean, not to be silly, but there's no way these are actual crew members. Clearly you aren't looking hard enough. <laughs> Those six in the middle are absolutely American. I don't think we're going to agree on this. There's nothing to agree with. Facts are facts. <laughs> and that picture says a hundred words. <laughs> uh-huh. We really need to work on your slang. Dropping the subject of why Korea thought it would, it could <laughs> pass off their navy crew as ours, I turned to the group photo. <laughs> a few of them are sitting in a group, like part of an interview or something. These guys look like Amer actually look like an American crew, so it must be a propaganda photo. Looking closer, I notice something about the crew members. Something that they're doing that changes my opinion on at least these sailors. sailors. Yeah, to give them yeah, the fuck you. Be... <laughs> oh, those glorious bastards. Way to go, boys. This marine salutes you, uh, you absolute madman. <laughs> <clears throat> Why are you even rambling on about? <laughs> Look at the sailors in these, this photo. See how they're all situated with their hands and their middle fingers are extended towards the camera? That's pure gold. Oh, you mean the Hawaiian <laughs> good luck sign? <laughs> Yes, the sailors said they were treated so well that they wanted to extend well wishes to our Navy members. <laughs> After all, they knew what they did was wrong, but it wasn't their fault. Orders are orders, right? But better and better, it appears the Koreans, at least at the time, had no idea the sailors were telling them to fuck off in secret. I really hope that's a true, that's a real photo. <laughs> And even if they found out, they're still telling the new generations of military members the Americans lie to prevent embarrassment. <laughs> I'm tempted to crush this misconception, but then playing along with it might be entertaining as well. Let's flip her off now. <laughs> the choice is here. Are we gonna give her? Are we gonna tell her the truth or play along? Uh, we, you know, if, if we're going for it, we should play along. Play along, okay. She loves best Korea. She does. 
I'd say, I'd say it. I'd end up going to hell if I were going to play along with this government's bunch of this <laughs> fallacy. However, I figure the North Koreans are probably close to the first stage of hell anyway, so why miss it by inches? Man, wow. he's really turned around on this Korea thing. He is, yeah. It's been a long time since that hand gesture was used by Americans, but back during the 60s and 70s, it was really popular. Maybe I misjudged you Americans. I mean, it couldn't have been pleasant for the sailors to be stuck in a foreign country for months on end. But they made the best of it and even offered good wishes to their hosts. Wow. Hosts. Right, right. Anyway, hand signals have been pretty popular at different times in American history. It's well known that Ben Franklin gave the first thumbs up after he was made Postmaster General of the United States. Any hand signals being used today? No, no, never. Of course, I'll show you a couple. Oh boy. I split my fingers so that my pointed finger and middle fingers are apart, in a V-shape. That's pretty de dexterous of you to do that. What does it mean? Uh, we kind of stole this from the Brits and gave it our own meaning. Uh, if you show it to someone, it means you wish them well. It's kind of a peace sign. It's popular with a lot of bands back in the 60s. Got any more? Nah, the Hawaiian good luck side is probably all you'll ever need if you visit back home. <laughs> <laughs> Great, let's go and see the artifacts and documents then. Yunji nods and then leads the way to the code room. We enter into the code room and of the Pueblo. In doing so, it's like we've stepped back into the 1960s. There's a broken black light on the floor and several accompanying posters on, of the doors on the wall. Oh, it has. There's some pin-up girl posters as well, but it looks like someone took a marker and drew clothing over the naughty bits. No. I somehow doubt it was one of those original sailors who did that. And I think I see an old lava lamp on one of the tables as well. I, I love lava lamps. I, I had one of those. It broke, but I really like them. Either those Navy guys are, were really in their own little world, or this is Korea's anti-American <laughs> Navy propaganda at work. I'm not sure which it is, though. They hate lava lamps, I guess. Yeah. Uh, this was the main room where the sailors would attempt to capture Korean government secrets. They attempted to destroy the evidence before they were boarded, but only succeeded part way. What was seized by the sailors was taken and immediately put into a vault, and has only just been released back in place for viewing. It's over here on the counter. Great. Uh, guess I'll take a look and see what our boys was trying to find back in, in 1968. I head over to where Yunji pointed and start rifling through a small pile of documents and binders. There really doesn't appear to be anything too incriminating upon first glance. Mostly coordinates of where the ship was at the time and date, various data on the sea and wind conditions. There's a small amount of data on the original leader included, <laughs> but nothing that likely wasn't already in public record. Okay, maybe the scribble about him having a particularly small Johnson was <laughs> public knowledge. But I'm guessing a sailor wrote that in before getting captured as a bit of <laughs> defiance. There's also a familiar looking green binder. It's old and discolored, but it's definitely something you could pick up at the post exchange. I guess they haven't updated that model in a few decades or so. I wonder what's inside. Flipping through, I can't help but laugh. I'm not sure why you find the material of your country spying on us funny. Can you tell me what you find amusing? Uh, <laughs> this binder doesn't have anything to do with Korea at all. She comes over and takes a look at the contents. Of course it is. Look at all those X's and O's and diagrams. Mm -hmm. Clearly it's a war journal that the Navy intended to use to attack Korea. Uh, more, like this is, uh, more like this is a war journal that the United States Army intended to use to attack the United States Navy. I don't understand what you mean. Why would your army attack your Navy? This war journal is an army playbook from the 1967 football team. No wonder Navy won that year. They had the playbook that could formulate the defense against Army's offense. You mean to tell me that this dumb playbook for your lame American version of football? Pretty much. Guess this, uh, this one way to hide the theft. Stick the playbook on a ship out in the Pacific. You'd probably get a small fortune from selling this to a collector. This place is starting to lose some of its bit, <laughs> some of its luster. Can we go home soon? No, no, poor Yuni. You're making you lose. You're making you shaking your faith in Korea here. Yeah, this is bad. I meander around a little bit more. 
And there's nothing here that's all that damning. I probably could go on without having seen a crew member's molding silkies in one of the glass cases, though. Uh, we did get a late start. How soon will the driver be here? I'll text him and find out. She does so. A few minutes later, her phone vibrates in response. He said it would be about 30 minutes. I go to say something, but my stomach rumbles before I can get oh, in. No, I have so. to bring cuisine. It sounds like you're hungry. Yeah, I guess so. And we can grab some grub around here. There's a meat on a stick cart outside oh. where we arrived. Oh, yum. It's not seasoned at all well, but it's cooked probably and should tide us on until we get home. By the way, Yunji. She smiles and grabs my hand, leading me back to where we were dropped off. Sure enough, there's a food cart there offering meat on a stick. This might be the first place I've ever seen that doesn't offer kimchi as a dish. I order a couple of sticks and uh, hand one to Yunji. You, you didn't have to pay for mine. I can buy my own, you know. I wanted to, okay? I don't quite understand, but thank you. We eat our meats in silence. When finished, Yunji turns to me and breathes deeply before speaking. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry if you were uncomfortable with today's date. I know it can't be easy seeing a symbol of your country sitting captured in foreign waters. It does suck a little, but hey, just the Navy's old boat. I still had fun. I'm glad to hear it. I had a good time as well. Yunji blushes and makes a rough attempt at speaking in English. Oh boy. Uh, you uh, meet Isha very good. Thank you. <laughs> I can't. Help I but... can't help but laugh and smile at her. For all her insults and jabs, she's not that bad. Not a problem, Yuji. She smiles and closes her eyes. Uh -huh. Minutes later, our driver arrives, and we get back into the back seat. And a few minutes later, Yunji's eyes are, cl are closed, and she's resting her head on my chest. <gasps> How romantic. I think these girls have narcolepsy or something. Or maybe I'm just comfortable uh, to them. Beats me. Guess I'll nap until we get home, too. What a wonderful day at the weird boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been very really sort of quiet, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been about an hour since we arrived from our first uh, date expedition in Korea. Yunji insists on cooking dinner for everyone, and ji is in her room, writing in her diary. I'm sprawled out on the floor, just staring at the ceiling. It's grey. Looks like the roof may have had a leak in the top, uh, as I think there's some mold damage. To be honest, I'm a bit bored. I heard that Korea had a thriving nightlife scene. Uh. Apparently it's all in Seoul, in what Jiang and Yunji called the occupied area country. It appears my friends are from the northern half of the peninsula. Uh, yeah, it, it does appear. I to think. And Pyongyang is anything but a nightlife paradise. Quite the opposite. That's pretty much what amounts to a curfew law here. So instead of knocking back a few with the ladies, I'm staring at the ceiling. <laughs> oh. hmm. uh, sighing, I think I'll go say hi to Jiang and make my way to Yunji's room where I knock on the door. <laughs> hi, Yong. Uh, how goes the writing? Oh, not bad. I just trying to keep track of uh, of your trip so I can reflect on it for years to come. <laughs> Sounds nice. Uh, can I uh, can I take a look at it? Of course not. A woman's journal is sacred. No man should be looking at it. Journal is a pretty sophisticated name for a diary. I suppose so. I guess I could. Uh, I just like the word better. Sounds like something an adult would keep. As opposed to a high school girl depicting depicted as being over 18. <laughs> that seems like an awfully specific example, but I think I get what you're going with. <laughs> so how can I help you? Well, I'm going to guess we're not allowed outside at night, being, well, Korea. So I was wondering what you and Aeunji do for fun around these times. <laughs> we read or listen to the radio, fix each other's hair... Uh, yeah, I guess I could let you mess with my hair, but I doubt you want me anywhere near yours. Why not? 
the only hairstyling experience I have is from the barracks. And by that I mean giving Sunday night high and tight cuts before Monday morning information. So, got anything else in mind? We do have a couple of board games. Most for two players. Oh, please. I Perhaps want to see... Board games with I, want, I want to see a North Korean board game. <laughs> so in much. the tail of the great leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I think we have done one of our... Uh, but I think we do have one of our parents... What? But I think we do have one our parents had when we were growing up. We yeah. could play together. There we go. Finally, finally got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a while since I played a board game. Uh, I guess it could be fun. Ah, you don't suit, uh, sound too enthusiastic at the prospect. It'll be fine. Unless you're really feeling a buzz cut. <laughs> I'd rather not look like a boy. <laughs> Like anyone could mistake you for a boy. It's not like you're in. It appears Yunji has snuck in on us while we were talking. You better not finish that word. Uh, European pop stars. <laughs> uh, Ranakai here wanted to play a board game. But we only have one game that's made for more than two players. I know. Looks like it's time to break it out. First time in ages. I'm so excited. Well, the two of you seem pretty high on the idea. Hey, what are we playing? You never said. Well, we'll tell you later. Let's go eat quickly so we can play. Yunji Oshris is out uh, to go eat dinner. Mostly light fare tonight. Steamed rice with some vegetables, uh, along with the usual kimchi. Seems I get kimchi with every meal. I might end up hating cabbage after this trip. We eat in comfortable silence, and when we're... There's a lot of comfortable silences. Yeah, there's a lot. When we're finished, I help Yunji clean up while Jiang goes to fetch the game. While drying, I can hear Jiang humming from the other room as she sets up the game. She sounds pretty happy. It makes me smile. We've got the board set up for whenever you both are done. Dips on the original leader token. Oh, boy. You can't call dibs when we're all, all sitting in the room. That's like calling shotgun before you can even bring out all the weapons to choose from. That is not what calling shotgun means at all. Don't care. I called dibs. Fine. I swear you're such a child sometimes. As if to emphasize Young's point, Yunji sticks her tongue out at her. I walk over to see what almost looks like a familiar game to me. The board is set up and, and appear to be very much like Trumpopoly. Oh no. My, my least favorite board game. Trumpopoly. Mm -hmm. The property buying game based on purchasing overpriced hotel properties in Miami. Oh great. Upon closer inspection, I find out just how different this game really is. Stay, stay, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the game of annexation. <laughs> Take over leadership of countries oppressed by capitalism and convert them to the way of the one true Korea. Wow, I've seen alternative editions of Trumpopoly based on college campuses and popular movies, but this has to be the most offensive ripoff I've ever seen. I'd play it. Yeah, for sure. As future representatives of the one true Korea, the game is vital to learning how to liberate the world from the shackles of capitalism. Uh, I am not sure I can agree with that statement, but seeing as there isn't much else to uh, do in the docket, tell me how to play. The money is over there is called the Leader's Trust, in which he entrusts us to, to use to buy influence in the world. Uh -huh. You roll and move your token, and when you land on a country, everyone pitches in their share to purchase sovereign ground for a Korean embassy. When you own all the countries in the color block, you can start placing consulta con consulates. Cons yeah, cons Once you have four consulates in the country, you can trade them in for an ambassador. When all countries in a color block have ambassadors, you convert them into cabals. <laughs> uh-huh. Then comes the fun part. I was saying the North Korean embassy actually is like down the road from where I live. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know. When all countries in a color block have cabals, you roll the Korean occupation dice against the foreign government dice. 
If the Korean dice rolls higher than the foreign dice rolls, you successfully lead a coup d'etat. Taking over that region, converting the block, that block to Korean property. You get a bonus to your roll, the more convert, coveted the color block, the lower the bonus. It is how to get the stopping countries to turn. <laughs> this is not in the spirit of Trump properly at all. In fact, it's a little frightening that the point of the game is to lead mm -hmm. coups against friendly capitalist nations. Again, I would totally play this. Not to mention one another. One other factor. Uh, so tell me, what are the victory conditions? Convert all color blocks on the board to Korean control. Seriously, I thought the original Trapopoli took forever to play. Victory conditions for this game are practically un unreachable without playing for hours on end. Stop whining, Yankee Doodle. The average playing time is only a mere 17 hours. <laughs> Not counting bathroom and meal breaks. Sorry, that make, make that 19 hours. That's like the original Civilization board game I have. Mm -hmm. uh, that took like a whole weekend to play. We're not really going to play for 19 hours straight, are we? <laughs> so, so tired. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can play a short inversion tonight. Stop after a couple of hours. After that, we'll all need our sleep so we are energized for tomorrow's date. You guys know that's not how you use the word in America, right? And here I thought no soldier would complain about going on dates with two girls. Wow. You're not one of those. Oh, sorry. There was something offensive, I'm sure. How do you say offensive? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> First of all, no. And we did away with that policy back in uh, 2010. I guess I just find it surprising that you want to call uh, your outing dates from the get-go. You worry too much. Now are we going to play or not? So grabs what I can only assume is the original leader token. <laughs> Place it on stay stay square. Here are the other tokens. Pick whichever one you like. There's a Korean flag on a pole, a bowl of kimchi, <laughs> another leader figure. A nuclear warhead. What appears to be a blob with a muscle. Guess that token slipped past quality control. I guess I'll take the bowl of kimchi. Great, I'll take the unified thought bubble of the workers' party. <laughs> you mean that blob is actually supposed to look like that? Please kindly refrain from insulting the token of the workers' party. Sorry, my bad. Unified we roll off to <laughs> see who's first, then Yunji gets the horror and gets the honor. <laughs> uh, she does so <laughs> and moves her token. <clears throat> Uruguay. Okay, everyone, ship in your share so we can secure the embassy space. Come again? We all have to pay? We explained this earlier. The money is communal from the leader. We all have to pool in equal to get what we want in all of the countries. But that means at the end of the game, we'd all have the same amount of money. Of course we will. Don't be silly. We're all equals in the eyes of the leader. Now fork over some cash, Yankee Doodle. I'm not calling me that. You are American, right? Yankee Doodle Dandy. I don't think they even sing that in elementary schools anymore. Anyway, it's my turn. And I stop at Rhodesia. Everyone kick in. Did the makers of this game not know that Rhodesia isn't the country anymore? How old is this game anyway? A minor detail. Besides, aren't many other nations nearby worth annexing? Your turn, by the way. Oh, I'm rolling a uh, common worker's chest. Oh, you get to pick a card from the red pile. Oh, okay, then the card reads, the leader needs everyone in Sweden. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, then. well, that's the news. Mm -hmm. Move all tokens to Sweden and pay double for anything purchased as compensation for the leader's visit to the Swedish bikini team. I don't think there really ever was a Swedish bikini team. Just a beer commercial gag. I've heard that rumor as well, as if women objectifying themselves in small amounts of clothing uh, for the pleasure of men. Wow. Uh, you don't want to talk, those skirts don't leave much of the imagination, jeez. She hop up faster than, Lance, than the Lance Corporal trying to avoid duty. Stop looking! Purple suits you really well, Unji. Is this purple? Ooh. It's like blue, right? Uh. Girl? Or maybe it's the face. <laughs> they're not purple, they're lavender. Why am I explaining this? Good question. It's your turn. We continue on playing like this for hours. Oh, great. 
Opportunity card. Go directly to Yodok for getting intoxicated and failing to secure an embassy in Greenland. Oh. Hmm. Again, I swear they put 10 of those cards in the set. And ours. <laughs> How could you fail that role to take over Norway, Sweden, Finland block? <laughs> feel those, a left out. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> pesky Finns. It's all their fault for their Spokia phones and their Santa Claus backing. And, and ours. Jiang, 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 wake up! Uh, no need to shout in my ear, sister. And what seems like an eternity, we finally decide to finish up. Oh god, can you please stop? It's 1am. Still don't have enough to buy embassies in the Mexico, Canada, USA block. The leader uh, in this game sure doesn't mind taking back his, uh, his seed money for his own purposes. That pay for leader's memoirs car is brutal. I think we can stop now. Besides, it looks like Yunji is out cold. Yunji's on the floor, curled into a ball, snoring away. I try to nudge her awake to no avail. She's down for the count. Think you can carry her to the bed? I'll put away the game. Good thing. Good night, Yong. Pleasant dreams. I kneel down and gently get my arms under Yunji, lifting her off off the floor. She's pretty light, but it's not exactly like she's carrying around much. I walk her to her room and put her in the bed. Pull the blanket over her as she mumbles something in her sleep. Mm, deaf American pig dog. <laughs> you North Koreans too. Uh, one Korea idiot. <laughs> I can't help but smile as I head back to my room to lay down for the night. Maybe we can do something other than attempt to subterfuge mm -hmm. foreign governments. We are a bad knockoff of a board game tomorrow. I oh, know, that sounds pretty fun. I don't know, the game, man. Yeah, I would play it, but there's no competition. Mm, well, it's that's, like, that's, you're gonna win eventually. Just win around the board. Yeah, but that's how it is in real life, man. Yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> in, in my shock at the loud alarm, I jumped out of bed. Okay, more like I fell out of bed. I have to mess with my phone just to get the alarm music to turn off, and the bright light coming from the screen is blinding at this hour. I don't even know what time it is. It looks like my clock is out. It's pretty dark inside, too. Actually, trying to turn on the lamp does nothing either. Checking my phone again, it says it's 4.37. <laughs> okay. It's been another one of those infamous power outages. I said maybe it's another artillery drill. Yeah. I sit back down on the bed and consider taking a shower to pass the time. Or I definitely can not can make out the water running in the background if <gasps> someone beat me to it. In the shower. Kicking the bag on the bed. I mean, they went to bed like at one. Yeah. Like three Some, hours ago. Three hours, someone is up showering. Kicking the bag on the bed, I left my eyelids rest a bit and I gather my thoughts about the coming day. It's certainly been something of an experience since I arrived in Korea. I can't complain too much about the company, as the girls are both cute and fun in their own way. But their devotion to the glorious leader borders on creepy. Something is off about this country, dangerously off. Oh, you think, yeah. At least I made I uh, I made raid uh, on the mm. DLAB and got free Korean lessons. Okay. Well, as free as two years of getting the shit chewed out of me in Monterey Bay can be. Oh, that's like a like a probably like a, a, a military university program for veterans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just never thought I'd be in the country and on vacation at that. Either way, I need to stay focused and watch what I say. People here already give me death glares whenever <laughs> I'm out. Wow, dozed off for a second there. I wonder what time it is it is now. Huh, it's quiet. I guess the shower is free. I strip down to my silkies, grab a towel from a travel bag, and tiptoe over to the bathroom. If someone is asleep, I'd hate to wake them up. Especially if it's Yunji. I can almost feel her her fist in my gut just thinking about it. Once I step inside the bathroom, I can smell the sweet scent of shampoo and feel the warm, humid air wash over me. I take a few seconds to feel around the light for the light switch. Mm -mm. Click. No effect. I guess the power's still out. I drop my silkies and touch my towel over my shoulder. Taking one more shot at it, I rock the light switch a few more times. Click. 
like oh. <laughs> the low humming of power courses through the old wiring in the room as I'm blinded by the whole room lighting up <laughs> ah I panic at the sound of someone shouting and flail my arms before my hands land oh, no. on something soft. What? After a few moments, I regain my vision. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I would say good morning, but it seems you've already had one. What? What? She gestures down towards the silk keys on my ankles and my hand on her chest. Oh, shit! I try to yank them back around my waist. Shh, Andrew is asleep. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. It, it was an accident, m mistake. I'll only have a few more minutes. Use the shower when I'm done. Oh god, this is awkward. I, uh, I mean, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll knock next time. It's okay, just keep this between you and me for now. Sure thing. Tiang doesn't seem to bother to explain anything else as she skips out of the bathroom and over to Yunji's room. However, she does glance back at me more than once. Wow. I'm just glad I didn't get slugged here. That comment just now? Yeah, what is going on? <laughs> Something seemed off. I wish I knew what was going on. Well, nothing to be done about it now. I hop in the shower and draw the curtain. By the way, I used all the... Ah! Hot water. Jen giggles and ducks back out of the room again. She could have warned me a bit earlier. Guess that's fair for a bit of revenge. <sighs> Working quickly, I grab the soap and wash up and head back to the bedroom to change. After pulling on my shirt, I notice my walkie-talkie with a keypad flashing. Hmm. Looks like I have a text message from Ji Young. Ji Young, breakfast is ready, Romeo. Wow. Guess I'll text back. <laughs> God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate hitting the numbers keys over and over to get a letter. Yeah, that's how it was back then. I did the ever survive writing texting in the 1990s. My fingers are already cramping. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, I, w I wouldn't give what I wouldn't give for autocorrect. Bzzzt. Bzzzt. Well, that response was fast. And you're going to teach Yunji proper English? Oh, no. Yeah. Maybe I'd best just get to breakfast. I hear the girls giggling in the other room anyway. Oh. Nice to see you two getting your ha-has in at my expense. I thought all Americans were proficient in cutting X technology. Yet you can't even wor work texting functions on a modern cell phone. That phone you gave me, well, as well as you, uh, as well as the ones you have, are not cutting edge. They're dinosaurs from the 90s. Only old people use those models anymore. I'm guessing you never even got to see the phones that was confiscated from me, did you? No, not really, no. But I'm certain it wasn't anything close to what you're using now. If only she knew how right she was, while still being incorrect. That reminds me, I have to charge my phone for the day, I'll be right back. Uh, anyway, I'm not used to the type of phone you gave me, so don't take that as an indication of my English skills. Yunji whips out her phone and taps the keys like lightning. If you say so, <laughs> Yunji sticks a tongue out at me. Thanks for the support. Ji Young pokes her head back in. I'm sorry, did I interrupt a lover's quarrel? L like I'd ever with... <sighs> oh, be a bit more cheerful, sister. Ji Young smiles brightly. Well, aren't you a basket of sunshine today? Got any good news? Wow, what a pose. <laughs> uh, it hit me by surprise, one could say. I avert my eyes as she says this, but I catch her <laughs> blush as she says this. <laughs> Let's just eat. I made eggs and toast. Wow, how... Boiled eggs and toast? That sounds pleasantly different. Well, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to try more traditional American breakfast. Don't think too much about it. It was just something I wanted to try. How subversive. 
never had boiled eggs and toast before? Well, typically it's boiled rice and kimchi. <laughs> when is it not rice and kimchi? Lunch is boiled noodles and kimchi. Somehow I think you're missing the point. And what do you eat in your oh glorious army? Uh, in boot camp, it's like, um, I don't want to talk about it actually. I'll take your word. Anyway, let's eat. Go close we sit down well. and Yunji serves up boiled eggs and toast, as well as some rice and beans. Simple fare, but it's all prepared rather well. Of course, I help clean up afterwards, and it seems the girls are used to that now, so they don't complain. Oh, that's nice. Once done, they approach me with their map again. Oh, <laughs> so where are they trying to go into today? Uh, the way you say it makes me think this whole thing has been scripted. <laughs> Not at all. Now hurry up inside so we can get ready. Yes, ma'am. She groans as I salute her. Well, it's time to look at the map and click on the way they want to go. I don't think we're going to finish this game today. I don't think so either. Uh, I didn't expect to, but no, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, um, we can do one more outing, I think, and then I'll, I'll have to go for today. Yeah. I mean, we want to continue with Yunji then, right? Yeah. Do we want to go to the... We seem, seem to shake your faith in the great leader, yeah. which I didn't expect. No. Um, you know? We have maybe, young... Maybe the other girl. I expect her to at some point kill you and be like, oh... You yeah, she's all smiles and then just suddenly she just like stabs yeah, you between the that ribs. That seems to be for fair with these uh, <laughs> games. A dagger in the stomach will do it. She will hiss and then that's it. So, <laughs> what? Yang, Yang Gakko or Wonsan? Or, Wonsan um, seems to be the coast with bikinis. Do you want to go to the Bikini Spirits here, Coast? I mean, that's the that's the beach episode. Right? Yeah, it's one. Uh, that's probably. Let's go to Yang Gakko mm -hmm. and save the beach episode for next time. All right, let's. That'll uh, keep people watching. You yeah, know? that's right. Cliffhangers. I have no idea what Yang Gakko is, but I have no clue. Apparently, it's north of Penyang. Uh, yes. This island just outside the center city looks promising. It's called Yang Gakdo. Uh, how would we get there for the day? Looks like I'll be one taking you out then. Dress comfortably and bring your phone and wallet. If we're lucky, you may get a whole day of games. Oh, our... uh, uh, games? What kind of games? What, what, what are we going to do? I'm afraid not. You will only be spectators. Young Gakko is home to a three, three, 30,000 seat multi-purpose stadium. Well, that'll be fine too. What are we watching? Baseball? Basketball? Original leader forbid we ever host Americanized sports at one of our beloved stadiums. But isn't the glorious leader a huge basketball fan? We all have our faults. <laughs> but we'll be watching the world's game, uh, the world's game at Yangako Stadium. You don't mean football? Football? I played back in high school. Oh man, I don't even you guys I like football here. The touchdowns, the quarterback sacks, the excitement. Touch touchdowns? I'm talking about the most glorious game ever invented. You don't mean soccer, right? <laughs> now you've done it. Turning back <laughs> to Yunji, it appears everything in her body from teeth to fists are clenched in anger for some reason. What did you say? Look, I don't hate soccer or anything, but if you wanted to watch overpaid guys fake injuries, I'd rather... Did it again! Did what? Whoa! Yunji grabs me by the collar and is barking in my face. A lesser man would have crapped his pants by now, or humidified his silkies. Call the greatest game on earth soccer one more time and you'll be drinking your kimchi for a straw. <laughs> Calm down, Yunji. We call it soccer in America because we all have different manly sports called football. Well, there was that one guy who called it European kickball, but that never caught on. I am well aware of your country's particular bad habit of bastardizing football and thinking your form of it is superior. It's true. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's, uh, not, it's not football, it's hand egg. It, so. yeah. By the time you leave this country, you will never utter the word soccer again. This I swear. Wow. I want to think this is a bad idea. Unji, be nicer. Remember, part of your low citizen scores were due to bad social interaction. Oh man, do they get citizen score? Probably. Oh man. Uh, this is a chance to improve on those and learn how to act around boys. D don't say that out loud. Is everyone to interact with stupid guys? I'm a, the guinea pig then. 
A cute guinea pig, though. Cute? I, th now you're just making fun of me. Speak for yourself, Jiang. It's like... It's not like I feel that way too, stupid. You never were a good liar, Yunji. It's okay to tell him he's handsome. Americans are vain that way. He'll appreciate it, even if you did mean it. Even, th even though you do. Thanks. We can discuss your relative attractiveness at <laughs> some other time. Right now, we have to get ready and head over to Yangako. Yang Yangakdo. Uh, Roger, let me grab my things uh, and we can head out. You will want to change your shirt to something red or white, with red or white in it. They are the colors of the home club there. If you don't have something, we'll have to get you a shirt on the way. Oh, uh, is it not okay just wear what I already have on? Of course not. Spectators of the home team must wear their colors. No. Anything less would not be a true display of unity. <laughs> oh, bummer. And I was about to change to my American flag shirt. Uh. <laughs> An awkward silence washes over the room. Neither one of them seems to be laughing. That was a joke, you know. Just hurry up and change already. You're wasting time. At this rate, we won't, won't get very good seats for the first match. Uh, got it. Hurrying up. I leap and run to the bedroom before Yuji can say or do anything to light my chest. I'm finding that's kind of fun and a little scary to push a button. Checking my suitcase, it looks like I didn't pack any red or white shirts. I did pack a red windbreaker. I guess I could sip that up and blend in. Hope it doesn't get too hot. Or at least if it rains, I'm covered. Grabbing my wallet rather and a rather poor excuse for a passable cell phone, I walk my way back out. So you have a death wish, I see? <laughs> I pretty much expected her to be fuming just a bit. I didn't expect her to be so cute, though, especially all the way to her nose wrinkles. Wow. Oh, death, how I yearn for your sweet embrace. Don't make fun of me. Out of the corner of my eye, I can see ji giggle a little bit. You seem immune to my sister's uh, charm. Um, she certainly manages to frighten the soldiers around her, though. I can't help it if, if they're pathetic whims who can't handle me. Wow. Uh, let's get going. The driver's waiting for us. Before I can say anything, Yunji grabbed my arm and is dragging me out the doorway. Fortunately, it's not too long of a walk to the car. The driver is waiting and raises his eyebrows just a little at the sight of Yunji leading me by the hand. I swear I think I heard him mutter, whipped already, <laughs> under his breath. <laughs> Make a little, little whip sound. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly get in. Driver, to young guy to right away. The driver nods and gets in. The car fires up, or sputters more like. Uh, and we're on our way. Not too long after the part uh, partition between the front seat and the back seat drops, allowing me to view the driver, such as it is. I had no idea how horrible the roads are. <laughs> here we're practically driving on a bare rock garden it's bumpy as hell too my head is bobbing like i'm at a metal concert i apologize for the bumpy ride we are slated to get paving sometime in the near future well that's good why the jacket i don't think it was going to get cold in fact it'll likely get hot the uh, truth is it's the only thing close to red or white shirt i brought with me mostly in case it rained I guess if it gets hot, I could look around and buy a t-shirt or a jersey or something. We can likely find you a suitable, suitable t-shirt, but no one but official players may wear team jerseys. It's almost like blasphemy. <laughs> really? In America, people wear team jerseys all the time. Sounds like a silly place. People who aren't on the team wearing the team's uniform. Speaking of uniforms, I just noticed something. Why are you wearing yours? I thought you were all supposed to be to wear red and white, and you're decked out for a parade. That's because I'm supporting my team through solidarity. Oh. My team is April 25 Sports Club, which belongs to the People's Army. Since you're not part of your army, you just need to wear their team colors. Oh, okay, I understand. Did you ever play uh, me football? No, there was never interest in women's foot in a women's football club. 
I ended up in the volleyball team a couple times. I can see that. You certainly have the build for volleyball. What do you think you're saying? Uh, you just look like a volleyball player. You know how some people look like they belong in a certain sport when you see them? I see you and I think volleyball. Ah, I see. Like you'd make a good sumo wrestler. Oh, wow. Yeah, exa what? what, what? <laughs> Maybe I was just going to say you have the legs for volleyball, but I bet you just like shouting spike during the game. Wait, do you mean to tell me you've been staring at my legs? Well, I mean, you don't... Not my fault your uniform is basically miniskirts. Why are uniforms so short anyway? Fabric shortage. We had to make sacrifices. <laughs> I bet. Right, and next you're going to tell me that all male soldiers just wear booty shorts? Of course not. They are, as you said, commandos. Is that oh. right? <laughs> Note to self, do not stand too close to Korean military guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying you have the body type of volleyball player, that's all. Don't read too much into it, it's a compliment. Americans have odd ways of complimenting people. Better shift subject before she combats me over that too. So, who is playing today? The main event features April 25 in a friendly game against Urchin FC from Mongolia. Before that will be a ceremony featuring no. performances to honor the workers' party. Yes. Leading off the event are two DPR Korea League games. Kig Wancha Sports Club will play against Amrogang Sports Club to start. And that will be followed by a Rim Yugungsu Sports Club against Pyongyang City Sports Club. That's a lot of uh, football for one day. It is in celebration of prestigious historical events from the Workers' Party. As a result, they wanted to make a whole day of it. You should be thankful. We'll have hours of entertaining football as well as musical performances. Oh, great. So what event is being celebrated? Workers' Party secret, I can't tell you. <laughs> can't or won't? Yes. I... I think you don't know and all you care about is non-stop football. So perceptive and such a sharp tongue. You should give it something better to do. Uh... Wait, just make a... Before I can finish my thought, you just shoved a sour lollipop in my mouth. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> what did you do that for and why on earth are you just carrying around lollipops? To give your tongue something better to do. Wow. You seem disappointed by this. And because I like candy. I'm sweet like that. True, candy is delicious. Sweet isn't the exact words I would use, but... You know, Yunji might know far more English than she led me to believe. Hmm. So, how long until we get to the stadium? Not too much further. We're getting close to Yangak Bridge. If you look out, you can see the Yangak Inter International Hotel. It's the second largest building in Korea, and many tourists stay there. It features a revolving restaurant on the 47th floor, as well as various entertainment venues in the basement. Mm -hmm. Nearby is, is the Pyongyang International Cinema Hall, which hosts the Pyongyang International Film Festival every two years. Oh, great. A film festival? That sounds neat. Uh, when's the next one slated for? It's actually later this year, but unfortunately not during your visit. A shame, our glorious leader has graciously allowing more Western films to be shown. Well, that's good, right? Your film students will be able to learn from some of the films being made in the West. She raises her eyebrow and scoffs at me. <laughs> you have it backwards, Yankee. Glorious leader graciously <laughs> brings in Western films he thinks has potential. And then he personally edits them so <laughs> the product is even better. <laughs> edits them? You mean the scripts? Or... No, he takes a physical copy of the film and makes his own ingenious edits. <laughs> Only then is it fit to be shown at our film festival and around the world. I have pictures of me of the Korean premiere from last year. It's in my bag. Please show me. She starts running through her purse and presents me a Polaroid, uh, Polaroid photo. It's of her standing next to a movie poster, what should be popular superhero movie, General, General America. <laughs> Except, he's had the North Korean flag poorly edited onto his uniform. Oh god, oh no. 
<laughs> and this next one, it looks like they've edited a terrible CGI into the original Star Battles. Uh, no, wait, that's that was our fault. Uh, these posters look familiar, but they've been altered badly at that. I've seen better edits on Micro Hard Painter. Well, of course it was altered. Gloriously. <laughs> Leader edited the film and then had the posters changed accordingly. This this is so wrong on so many levels. Next thing you know, oh God, help me! I really wish they actually had the pictures because I would have liked. Yeah, to I see know, them. but they said earlier that the dating games love to skim on artists. Yeah, so it's true. I feel like they're self-aware. Yeah. The last photo in the set is of the Titanic ship. But it looks like someone edited an American <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Just popping out, shooting at her PR. These certainly add a new uh, perspective to my favorite movies. Oh, of course they do. Uh, the glorious leader himself oversees all of the production. Hey, wait. Didn't the glorious leader... Uh, father kidnap some South Korean director to make movies for him? Yuji starts to get flushed, and her mouth twists into a frown. Of course not! He, he came here willingly! That's why he escaped when he was in Vienna, right? N no! It, it was... Uh, driver, go faster! <laughs> Yuji kicks the seat. It's always funny to make her fret... Well, one of these days, she'll probably stab me. Yeah. I should be careful. Foreshadowing. Well, enough of ruining my favorite films. You look really good in all those photos. I think it's the first time I've ever seen you out of your uniform. Well, why are you complimenting me all of a sudden? Baka. Tactical retreat. Anyway, it really looked nice. That That's not appropriate. Just what sort of girl do you think I am? Oh... I mean, oh, <laughs> well, I feel like it's, uh, I mean, uh, ever heard of that term? I mean, mm. Mm. go with the bottom one, maybe. Yes. <laughs> All right. Sure. Most explaining. Clearly, you are a refined, sophisticated young lady of high moral standing. North Korea, the player doesn't make it. <laughs> make the player, or something like that. Wow. You forgot intelligent. Anyway, you should learn how to take a compliment. I look out the window, and we're, we're about to cross over the bridge onto the island. We'll be there shortly. I got a text from HQ. There will be an intermission between the first two, uh, the first two games. We can go to the revolving restaurant and get lunch there if you'd like. Oh. You might even find some souvenirs there. Oh, yes. Sure, sounds like a plan. A few minutes later, we're pulling into the parking lot of the stadium. Before I even step out of the car, I could feel the intense heat of the midday sun. We should be able to get decent seat seats uh, for the first match if we hurry. Mm -hmm. I'm already regretting my choice of wearing the jacket. I can already feel sweat dippling my forehead. I need to grab a couple of flights of stairs before it isn't helping either. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Is there any water around here? A whole day of football in a jacket in a hot stadium? <laughs> God. Uh. Uh, I told you not to wear the jacket. Why didn't you listen? Because I didn't have a t-shirt with the colors. <laughs> well, I did, but you burned it. I can go pick, pick us up some drinks. I don't want you to miss out on the game, though. That's uncharacteristically, uncharacteristically thoughtful of you, but I'll go get us some water. I sit and wait with, while Yunji heads up into the uh, concourse to get some water. I'm really getting hot with this jacket on, but there's nothing to be done. <laughs> if I take it off, Yunji will get mad that I'm wearing a yellow t-shirt. So I'll be stewing in my own sweat for this game. Lovely. Here you are. I got this maximum amount of <laughs> water bottles allowed. Two each. She hands me a bottle of water. It seems okay. 
it's imported from China. She'll find she you'll be fine drinking it. Great, I'm dying over here. I never imagined Korea could get this hot. As I got go as I go to drink, mm -hmm. what sounds like a huge cheer erupts from the crowd. Looking at the field, the first two teams that take the pitch are walking out and warming up. However, from what sounds like great cheer, I don't see a lot of enthusiasm from the crowd. <laughs> Most are sitting and chatting or reading something. Uh, recorded crowd noises? I'm sorry, come again. <laughs> this cheer that erupted, it was from a recording. Everyone here is pretty much staring at their feet. Yes, well, the PA worker just is just trying to pump the crowd up. Yes, <laughs> pump the crowd up by prompting them to cheer at the team's entering. It's quite normal. Um... They'll be starting the match soon. Care to place a wager? That seems highly unfair. I know nothing about the team's playing. How do I know one of the teams doesn't have some star player? All of the, all of the players on the teams are Koreans. I mean, how do I know if one of the teams has a superior player? Sounds to me like you're afraid of making a wager. I don't mind betting when I have an idea what I'm betting on. We aren't wagering much, just uh, who picks up the lunch tab. Oh, fine, you're on. Who's playing again? King Wacha uh, Sports Club is acting as the, as the away team, and they're in white uniforms. Amrogang Sports Club is the home team, and they're all in green jerseys. Anything else you can tell me? Amrogang is the team owned by the Ministry of the People's Security. Oh. They're usually very good and have won many league titles. King Wansha is from the city of Sin Yuji uh, and shares a border with the Chinese city of Dandong. They had a streak of league titles in the 1990s, but haven't been much good since. Yeah. Just pick a team, you get the other, and whichever team loses, that person buys lunch. Yes, hurry up before they kick off. Maybe King Wacha has some of those banned Chinese Olympians. Oh, maybe. Although, Amber King's owned by the government security group. Yeah. You know, you think, I mean, uh, do I we mean, want to win here? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, right? Because she might like it if she wins. That's the thing, right? <laughs> I am definitely would have picked Amro Gang. I mean, security, security <laughs> yeah, forces. Know, right? I mean, come on. You <laughs> need to beat the Chinese. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if we win, yeah, you know, she has to. She she has, she gets to be mad, and if we lose, she gets to be mad. So, yeah. um, I guess. Should, I mean, should we? Is it better for like? Is it better to be seen picking the security team or? Yeah. Exactly. Or the foreign team. I feel like we should pick the home team to be, you know, in order to be like okay. patriotic. Sure. Let's go with I'm Rock Gang then. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing I'm Rock Gang is the team at the back here. A government security group owns them. I bet they have all sorts of data on who uh, gets for their team. Maybe so. Though usually April 25 has the best recruiting data. It's generally why they're so successful, though I'm Rock Gang is usually in the mix. I need to change my mind. I'll ride Amrokang to, to free lunch. Don't count your chickens before they're beheaded. Uh, that's not... King Wancha has one of the best uh, young Korean players in the league. Why did you tell me this before I made my choice? Why didn't you ask? I'm pretty sure. Well played. All is fair in love and who has to buy the kimchi? So much kimchi. <laughs> I know. A loud whistle blows signifying the start of the match. Both teams are pretty good, and the match goes on long openly at first. King Wancha has a striker named Min, Min Ji Woo, who can really boot the ball. Mm. Surprisingly, when he scores on a hard kick from just inside the penalty arc, uh, Yunji goes nuts. Ah! <laughs> I thought you were an April 25 fan. Why so boisterous for Min Ji Woo? He's the youngest player I mentioned earlier. I appreciate his powerful kicks, but yes, Able 25 is my team. Maybe he can join them next year. I believe he becomes a free agent after this season. I have to admit, it is pretty cool the way Yunji gets into the game. He's almost as rabid as any college football fan, cheering, screaming at the refs, and throwing things at the field. Uh, <laughs> By halftime, Emerald Gang has tied the score a one up, and I think I might have sweated off half my body weight in this jacket. <laughs> 
I chuck down my second water uh, and wipe my brow. Still not enough, I'm melting like ice in a microwave. Just when I feel like passing out, Yunji hands me another bottle of water. Another? You, you look like you need this more than I do. But this is more than the sh a loud chair. <laughs> <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> At least you're not overheating. Thanks for looking out for me, though. Wait, why do you think I'm looking out for you? <laughs> I just can't have you dying in the middle of the stands. It would cause an international incident. So I'm doing this for the glorious leader's sake, not yours. Stop talking about it already. <laughs> you always get so defensive. I smile at her anyway. The game resumes for the second half, a few minutes later. Amrokan fights valiantly, but Min Ji Woo sneaks the ball on the outside past the defenders. <gasps> and buries a shot in the far corner of the net with eight minutes left. Wow. I wonder if we lose no matter what we do. Yeah, maybe. A bit later, the match is over, with King Wanshan victorious at 2-1. Wow. How can the security forces lose? <laughs> well, that guy certainly won't be joining any other team. Yeah, that's goddamn well, true. It would appear to a certain American owns their date a free lunch. No need to rub it in. I'll gladly pay my wager. Let's go. I'd like to see if we can get, uh, get your shirt before we eat. You look stupid hot over there. Hmm. Oh, oh, so I'm stupid hot now, eh? Sh shut up, stupid. <laughs> You're too easy to mess with. Come on, let's go. We head out and meet the driver, and we're off to the International Hotel. It doesn't take long to get there, and there's barely any cars on the road. Once we're there, we head to the gift shop to poke around for a t-shirt. Oh man, what a gift shop. My wandering eyes notice a book display, and I can't resist heading to it. The small section has headers like typical bookstores, fictions, non-fiction, autobiography. Glancing at the titles, they might as well be marked as propaganda. S Sunrise Leader, From Poverty to People's Champion. Crush the Invaders, How Neoclassical Leader Destroyed the American Army. The Amorous <laughs> Adventures of Liberator Leader. Yeah. Let's go look for a t-shirt. <laughs> There's a rag of shirts over here you can look through. I go over there to check the selection. There isn't much to speak of. Most are plain and not in my size. After a few minutes, I finally found a red t-shirt with, with 425 in white on it. It's actually a little big on me, but it's better than wearing a windbreaker. I guess this one would work. Very nice. It is an official t-shirt of April oh, wow. 25. I approve. Good pick. I purchase it for a relatively reasonable price, I think, and go change into it, wrapping my jacket around my waist by the sleeves. We then take the elevator to the revolving restaurant. I notice that for some reason the buttons on the elevator skip from floor 4 to 6. Hey, why does the elevator not have buttons for floor 5? Unlucky number, so we skipped over it. Uh, that's a new one. I've heard of the number 13 being unlocked, but never 5. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, but that is why there is no 5th floor. Oh wow, that's beautiful. When we get to the floor with the revolving restaurant, we're immediately led to a table. The menu is fairly extensive, offering a variety of Korean dishes. This is kimchi. What would you say I should order here? I recommend the Korean food. Oh. <laughs> I just meant that I wanted to know what's good on the menu. The cold buckwheat noodles are good. They come topped with vegetable pork and guau chu guang. Yeah, that's like a, a that's like a fermented like chili sauce. It's really nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, the barbecued meats are usually good. Uh, mm -hmm. But I can't I can't read that. Oh, oh, but stay away from the dog meat. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it takes a little time to load when it. You see. Right. So that's not just a myth. Uh, and dogs served in Korea? Meat is meat, be it from cow, dog, or horse. And a person? The sanctions aren't that bad. <laughs> I think I'll stick with the kimchi and the buckwheat noodles. As you wish. The waiter comes and takes our order. You, uh, Yunji, must be oh, hungry geez. as she orders a barbecue chicken. Wow. I hope it's chicken anyway. Uh -huh. For long, our order arrives and we settle in to eat. How does it taste? Is it good? 
thinking about it, I've had far better, but it's certainly plentiful. It sort of makes me feel guilty, though, considering the lack of food I've seen. It's good, though. The kimchi you made for me was better. You, you like my kimchi that much? You flatter me. My kimchi can't compare to this five-star restaurant cuisine you're eating now, so please don't say such things. <laughs> didn't, didn't I tell you to learn how to take a compliment? I'm sorry, I'm just, well, I'm not used to people complimenting me. Yeah, I can see that. Lunch continu continues as we con converse over a few what, different things. What is it, night outside? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's in, in Korea. It's like, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, once you get to know her, Yunji isn't so hard to talk to, uh, though she still gets bashful at compliments. Before long, I noticed that we stayed uh, into the second game. I think we're missing the second game, Yunji. Not that I mind. Talking here with you was more enjoyable than watching uh, football. Let's head back then, so we don't miss Abel 25's game. Finishing up, we head back to the car and go back to the stadium. We get there just as the second half starts. Not that it matters. Pyongyang Sports Club is already up 6-0 by the time we find our seats again. With such a loop-sided game, the refs are going, uh, seem to have swallowed their whistles, and the game goes by faster, which barely, with barely any stoppage time. In the end, Pyongyang SC beats Rim Yongzhu 9-0. As the teams leave the field, the PA guy gets on the horn with the information. Please stay seated. In 10 minutes, we will have a performance by the number one Korean idol, Park Ri Buell. Really? They managed to get her on the schedule for this? This is wonderful. Is she that good? I never heard of her. Her songs are all over true Korea, though we haven't really exposed her to music her music to the West yet. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before she tops your musical videographic televisions. <laughs> mm. I don't have the heart to tell her that what's wrong with that statement. Mm. Beyond the fact that the channel hasn't shown music videos since the 1990s, that is. Well, I look forward to it then. A few minutes later, a makeshift set has been put up, and the idol has been brought out. She's cute and decked out in obvious Korean attire, complete with a glorious leader t-shirt. The music kicks in, and it's definitely rough. The sound quality is like something of an old phonograph. And where her cues come, uh, Park Ri Buell starts singing. <laughs> 99 Soviet balloons floating in the Korean sky. Another splendid hit song, penned by the glorious <laughs> leader. Um, this song is basically as old as the guy. I mean, this was a huge hit, you know, in Germany in, in 1983. But did he write this as a baby in German? Oh god, the singer is even wearing the same jacket from the original music video. I don't know why you keep down to the glorious leader's <laughs> songwriting ability. Yeah, I don't know either. There's no way he'd borrow a song from the West. Uh, for our idol well she's a pretty uh singer uh i guess they are they say copying is the biggest form of flattery although i wouldn't exactly call this re rendition flattering they could update the sound equipment that might be uh, able to sell in the states i suppose a goodwill tour by her would be good for the world it might brighten the spirits of others to see the top Korean idol. I, I mean, again, I would love to have a North Korean <laughs> idol like touring the world. That would be amazing. <laughs> Singing songs by the yeah. is fairly great. <laughs> Basic. I just nod and smile. I don't think she actually knows what the rest of the world has been uh, has been leaving Korea behind. For decades, it appears, uh, to the look, from the look of their pop idol. <laughs> Pag Ri Buell uh, performs three more songs, all covers of the popular 80s songs, before finishing her set. To her credit, she does have an audience eating from the palm of her hand. Although half these people look hungry enough to eat from my hand, too. Oh, no. uh, or just eat in my hand, if you wasn't here. When she bows, I feel like I hear the crowd cheering in earnest for the first time. Time for the main event, then. Uh, you said this was a friendly, right? Yes, April 25 is hosting Urchim FC from Mongolia in a friendly game. I don't know the level of competition, but Able 25 is a premier rated team, so what's your bet? <laughs> After my last crushing defeat, maybe we should just enjoy watching this. Fair enough. 
I've mean, totally been on, on yeah, the home team, though. I mean, of course. After the last one, got to 9-0, <laughs> if you like. Uh, April 25 is clearly the better team on the field, scoring three goals in the first 10 minutes. Wow. By halftime, it's 5-1, and April 25 has, sent, uh, has already sent in substitutions to lessen the damage. Yes, this match is pretty much settled. Yes, but I'd like to stay and watch it until the end. I don't get to see many football matches from my work in the military. It's really nice to get to go out, uh, and I've had a nice time with you. Oh. Hey, I've had fun too. So sure, uh, let's stay and finish watching the curb stomp. The second half flies by as, Il Il as April 25 decimates the Mongolian visitors. Once the score settles at 8-2 for the final, we walk back to the car. It's starting to get dark, and Yunji yawns as we sit down to go home. Getting tired? A little. You wouldn't mind if I took a nap, would you? Uh, not at all. A few minutes later, and she's nodded off. A few more minutes later, and she's nuzzled in her sleeping head on my shoulder. Oh. One On one hand, it's nice. On the other, <laughs> she's starting drooling. Oh, well. Eh, that guy can have a worse day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yawn, I feel my eyelids getting heavy as well. Yeah. After what feels like no more than a minute, I'm snapped awake as the driver slams on the brakes. We have arrived home, American pig dog. I nod and gently nod Yunji. Hey, Sleeping Beauty, we're back. Thanks for letting me nap. I should be able to get dinner right together. Sounds like a plan. Third night here, second after having been out all day, uh, with one of my chaperones. Or hostesses. Girlfriends, maybe? They seem intent on keeping me to themselves. Are they hoping to keep me here in Korea, or are they hoping I'll sneak them out? Neither seem very likely. Maybe I'm just overthinking this. Perhaps grabbing hands, calling outing dates, and falling asleep on foreign men is custom here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not overthinking this. Speaking of thoughts, I think mine are about to get interrupted. <laughs> Is our living room floor more comfortable than my bed? Loaded question, but I assume you meant it as an innocent one. Well, maybe not. Anyway, I came to see if you were busy this evening. Seeing as, um, seeing as the Pyongyang nightlife involves explaining to soldiers what I'm doing out at night without getting killed or arrested, I'd say my agenda is pretty clear. It's not always like this. I am sure at some point we can go somewhere in the evening. I hope so. Anyway, did you have something in mind for this evening? Yes, I was hoping you could help Yunji with her English tonight. She really needs as much help as possible. For some reason, she doesn't do well learning under my guidance. I think maybe having a cute American man might help her. Mm, I'm not sure what being cute has to do with it, but I'm glad to hear I'm not the ugly American. Mm, well, Yunji has taken a liking to you. She's just never good with her feelings <laughs> calling me 50 shades i'm not surprised when she was 13 a boy who had a crush on uni actually got the nerve to confess to her she actually liked him as well so they dated <laughs> well no she didn't know how to handle the sudden confession and she ended up shooting him with a pellet gun <laughs> pellet gun why the hell did she have one of those in the first place I mean, do kids who just carry those in class? We prefer our students to carry 9mm compacts. Oh, <laughs> <Hello>, America. <laughs> he confessed to her at the small arms practice range. Sure, he was in love and not depressed. It seems like suicide attempt was made there. <laughs> Don't be mean. My sister has, uh, has her faults, but she can be sweet. He's certainly not bereft of womanly charms. I suppose that's true. She's cute in her own way. Anyway, I would like for you to help her with her English after dinner. I'll have everything you need ready. Fair enough. I did promise to help her after all. Anyway, maybe I'll finally get some respect as her teacher. You probably shouldn't put all your hopes in one basket for that idea. I'm not sure how, but you mixed up two old sayings and actually made it a pretty decent new one at that. Beginner's luck? Probably. Still, it was kind of cute. See there, you're supposed to be flirting with Yunji tonight. <laughs> I thought I was teaching her flirting with her. 
There's a difference. Pretty God. clear one. <laughs> Maybe one day you will understand. Don't put your whole hopes in one basket. So mean. How have you waiting for ready for dinner for you two drink? Blah blah blah. She walks to the room she's sharing with Yunji, but I'm pretty sure I saw her turn back and wink at me. Oh. Teaching Yunji English? This should be interesting, I bet. Of course, giving a loaded gun to Gorilla could be interesting too, but at least he'd have a fighting chance that time. Better take a quick nap before marching into this battle. And I think we will stop here for for today. And mm -hmm. we will uh, we will come back later to figure out Un Yunji's English lesson. Go to the beach. Yeah, go to the beach and uh, like I I you know I would have liked more real pictures of real monuments so far. Yes. I I yes. am I'm feeling I'm feeling you could just snap a few of those from Google. You know, you slap in here. Mm -hmm. That's the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. It's it less outrageous than the tank one so far. Yeah. It is, um, in a weird way. It's, it's just, almost normal. Yes, I was like... Um, <laughs> I mean, almost. Uh, yeah, but but there's there's some commentary in here, but it, it yeah. hasn't been... It's very subdued. I don't know, the... but maybe we haven't gotten to the, like... Yep, maybe we need to... Like, I, you know, usually what you say that like, the first, the real ending is where it's at, or... <laughs> <laughs> I really um, want to, to date the glorious leader. Yeah. I, uh, it would be great. Well, I'm gonna make a save here. Yeah. <laughs> Classified. Yes. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back in the next episode with more of uh, of, of Korean dating, and we'll see if we can get to date uh, the glorious leader, or if we can get into you know actual some some cool pictures and monuments and stuff, because that's all I want. Yeah. Like the uh, like the Stalin two ending. Oh man, Stalin two ending was so good. <laughs> oh uh, man, well, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see you then. <laughs> yep.